Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to The Reliables as part of Zombie Orpheus Entertainment in partnership with Pinnacle Entertainment Group. My name is Christian Doyle, and I'm going to be your GM today for part three of our special three-part series in which I am the GM. That's all of it right there. Glad you can make it. Uh, let's start today by uh, talking a little bit about uh, what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing a game. It's going to be a fun game, and I'm going to have everybody tell you about it. You, at home have the ability to affect the game in numerous ways. Here to tell you about that today is our cast member, Helen Roundhill. Over to you, Helen. Hi. I've been warned not to make this two hours, so I'm just going to make it two hours. The today, show is two hours. Please allow me to tell you about this wonderful thing called a shout out. If you would like to say, I don't know, say, uh, have the computer read out in chat, Get on with it. You're taking too long on the store. You can do that. Uh, that is your shout out. A Benny saved is a Benny earned. You can purchase us a Benny with which we will do all kinds of cool things. Uh, on the list of cool things that we can do, we can re-roll as long as it's not a crit fail. We can uh, get another card for initiative if we need to. We can soak damage if we need to. I can restock my power points if I need to, and I need to. Uh, that's what Bennies are for. Doiled again. Uh, doiled again is when you give the GM a Benny, if you must. And I suppose some of you think you must. Uh, that's not what we call that at home. What? What, what is doiled it's again in your more home? Gratuitous. Oh. <laughs> that's gross. You mean in the Doyle household? In the Doyle household. <laughs> that's gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Thanks for reminding us once again camera. that you're married with all the benefits therein. And I really do mean therein. All right. Win, lose, or draw. Uh, with win, lose, or draw, we will get a choice of two initiative cards. That's right, two. And we take the better of the two. Uh, let's see, dance, dance, magic, dance, uh, dance, magic, dance, I, I stuttered and I went with it, okay? No, I, I welcome uh, back, <laughs> good on you. <laughs> yes, all right, there we go. Uh, dance, magic, dance is when you want to make us dance like meat puppets. That's right, you buy this thing and Bleo will play music and we will try to dance to whatever music that is. Sometimes soft jazz, sometimes we can't hear the music at all and we're just told that it's there. Um, <laughs> ghost dancing, if you will. Story time, if you want to know about our deep, dark, spooky backstories. I don't know why spooky, but apparently spooky. Ooh. There are some, there are some skeletons in this closet. Um, you can purchase a story time, during which point we will have to tell you about that deep, dark, and spooky backstory, either for ourselves or for our avatars, although I don't think we have avatars oh, today. Owen so. owes us one, I think, from last week. <gasps> Owen owes us a story time? Oh, mm -hmm. oh wow. I can't wait. What about his first meeting with John Rita? <laughs> <laughs> John Rita. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, ch 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 story time. Uh, next, you have a reliable source. A reliable source is a little bit more current and present. If something ridiculous has happened and you want to know what we think about it, you can pick up a reliable source and we'll step into our little secluded booth where we will talk to just you, the audience, and not completely trash talk our teammates right in front of them. Um, I might be exactly what we do. Uh, getting an education. It's a little like giving superpowered bennies to Doyle. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. That's, that's basically what that is. He gets to he gets to superpower a character and try to kill us with that. Uh, rule of cool. A rule of cool is when we all go around the table. And we tell you what we would do in an outrageous situation in an outrageous way. Uh, roles be damned. Physics be damned. Character motivation be damned, if you must. Um, and we will put that forth to you. You will get to vote on it, and please do vote, uh, to decide whose idea is the best. It's mine. Um, and then that idea will automatically succeed. You let me do the store. I, you know what? You're right. Thanks you knew what was going to happen. Okay. You're so close. Uh, so, you know, we're so, so close. Um, 
So you, the audience, will decide which idea was the best, and we'll go with that one. Uh, and the rest of the players will have to roll to make their ideas happen. Okay, uh, on the contrast to that, we have a hack attack. Now, a hack attack is a little bit like a rule of cool, except it's all you, baby. That's right. Uh, if you purchase a hack attack, you get to directly affect the world, and goodness only knows what that might be. It might be shrinking down a, a cute little dinosaur so I can take it home with me on the ship. We're so close. Oh, we're so close. We could do that. Um, or it might be creating a sentient flood. Uh, either way, it is up to you. Hashtag bring lady home. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everything from the server, friends. Love it. All right, if that's it, then uh, we're going to move on to what we're playing today. Today we are going to be playing the Savage World Adventure Edition. Here to tell us more about that is Bryce Bebop. Bryce. Well, oh, there. Oh, yeah. I, was like, I was like, congratulations to Bleo for figuring out which one Bryce is. <laughs> Thanks, Bleo. Well, we all look so similar. It's true. Like, yeah. twinsy, quadruplets. Quadruplets. Right. quadruplets. I could so, also, this is a nice cast, because I couldn't just say the good-looking one. It could have been anyone. True. Mm -hmm. So, Savage World. It's really fun, it's really fast, and it's really furious. I was told to say that. So... <laughs> Things scale in a way that your die type gets bigger when you get stronger. So and maybe we love big dice. Okay, you had your time. <laughs> yeah, God. Okay, you get one. Everyone gets one. That's it. So if you start out, you're like not the best at something you get a D4, but then when you get really good at spell casting and you want to befriend all the animal friends, you get a D12 in spell casting. So it just starts to scale that way. I also have other notes that I need to read off. Found it. Okay. Um, so instead of rolling for initiative, we use cards. And so I don't remember the order, but Ace goes first. Jokers are better. And then there's something about backwards alphabet. I'm looking at everybody. I don't remember, but it's backwards alphabet if you're tied. So if we both have aces, let's say myself and Princess Hedgehog. If I have a heart and she has a club, she go. I go before her because it's reverse alphabet. Reverse alphabet. Order by suit. So by suit. Right. Um, really, the base of it is you need a four to succeed. That's what it is. So you roll your die, us, because we're awesome, I'm gesturing to the rest of the cast, we get a special die called a wild die. Wild! Wild! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and so it's an extra d6. If you roll the max number on a die, it explodes, you get to roll it again. And you're trying to get four, at least, because that's success. I mean, I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. That's why it's so fast and furious and fun. Oh, wow. You remembered all three of the ifs. I got them. I wrote them yeah, down. No, you did. I Savage World. Fast, furious, fun. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So let's uh, let's take this opportunity to introduce today's cast. First up in our lovely, lovely cast, let's go back to Bryce Bebop. <laughs> He's playing the part of Vector Reigns, interstellar war hero slash social media darling. Vector Reigns is I'm trying. basically <laughs> the most masculine thing on the Reliables Look crew. It's guns! It's and not that, fat, it's guns! It's all, all guns all the time. In fact, he's probably the best shot of everyone. Uh, he has a hashtag cool rule for a hashtag. Oh, damn. Aww. 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 Right on. Thank you. And it was. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> it was Bryce's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, belatedly, Bryce. Thank you, everyone. From all of us, we got you nothing. Uh, a whole, but it's a lot of it. It's oh, so how much a lot? Of Next it? up in our cast, <laughs> Helen Roundhill as Princess Hedgehog, last of her species of mushroom like goblin. She is a master of the mystic arts. Also, kind of likes attention. It's true. Also, check out these guns. Check out hey, those no, guns. No, 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 no. Hedgehog guns. <laughs> In my ticket. Which is cool it's because it sounds like a gun that possible. shoots hedgehogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want a hedgehog gun. Yeah. As ammunition, not like it'll only kill hedgehogs if you so shoot it. Spiky. It would be so spiky, but also adorable and cunning. And it would roll in the With balls. Little snippy noses. Next up, we have Owen Severns as Guy Whiteman, newest <laughs> member of the crew. <laughs> 
Guy is a forklift operator. Guy and a little confused about the alien symbiote super soldier that seems to be attached to his brain. He's looking to find out more about that as his adventures continue. I am. And Thank finally, you. that's it. That's the cast today. All right. <laughs> little recap before we get started. Look at me. Here's what's been going on the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Wow. The that Reliance, like <laughs> the ship that the Reliables uh, <laughs> occupy, and hence the name of the show, is about to fly into a star of some kind and kill everyone aboard. This makes the crew think it is time, once again, to find their pilot before they crash into said sun. They come up with a cockamamie plan, they get a new crew member in Guy... And then they go to a metaverse where they are superheroes, steal a spaceship, go to a dead planet where there is a wizard tower with no wizards in it, just a bunch of backpacks. They find the right backpack. Inside that backpack is basically an action-adventure male harem fantasy, which is a little bit gross, where they find their former pilot, Pierce, acting as the creepy perverted king of said harem planet. <clears throat> They decide to get involved in the drama of said planet and bring the Blade of Dread and Pierce's own magical sword together to create a rift so they can get out of the bag because that's the only way out. On the way, they fight Lord Dread's evil minions successfully several times, have a big showdown at the Tower of Dread, and have finally achieved victory and are about to enter when apparently a sniper murders King Pierce in front of everyone. We stand now in front of the Tower of Dread, its steps painted with the blood of its king, and you standing over it, looking at this, well, corpse, really, it's a corpse, I don't know how else to put it. That was really anti-climactic. I got some on me. You got lots on you. I didn't think people could die in this world. Like, for realsy reals? A couple of things, uh, a couple of things occurred to you, and I'm not even going to make you... Uh, roll the common knowledge roll that would normally be associated with this. A couple of things occur to you. One, um, that was a gun. What, whatever just whatever just killed King Pierce out in front of the steps of the Tower of Dread was definitely a gun. About a second after all the bullets hit, you heard the report of the gun. It was loud. The second thing is, you know guns aren't supposed to work here. That's right. In fact, none of your guns work here. Yes, I pull out a gun. You have a gun, clickety, clickety, click. Nothing happens. Your guns don't work still. But Pierce definitely Pierce just got murdered do. with a gun. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Step one, pick up the sword. Step one, pick up the sword. Strange thing. As soon as you reach for the store sword, a bullet... Smashes into the concrete right where your hand was about to be. I'm gonna go ahead and say don't. That touch sniper that. is clearly still out there. Okay. Okay. As you look around the courtyard, uh, there are dreadnoughts, the minions of Lord Dread, uh, rolling around in various states of uncomfortableness and unconsciousness, and just some of them are coming around. Clearly, none of them have a rifle. Um. Not cool. Whoever that was. Another shot hits right next to your head. Ah, Still not cool, brother. Should we be out here? We should. Nope. We should. Right there is, a, there is a, well, best of luck. There's still this giant door you've got to get past or knock down or whatever the hell you're supposed to do with it. There's no handle. Oh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Havoc on the door. There you go. Just try to blow it open. Why don't you, uh, you, do you have the Havoc card in front of you, by the way? Thank oh. you to Lumiere. <gasps> Lumiere, super cool. Lumiere. Super cool. I said it out loud. Now it's on the internet. Oh, it's first. Awesome. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Where is it? Ah, that's a great question. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you not pull that card? It's, a, it's It is on your sheet, too. It is on my sheet. So well, we can, we can go, we can go instead uh, to... We can go to the sheet, um, Havoc, yeah, uh, which is creating chaos and mischief, scattering objects nearby, which doesn't sound as cool as I think it is. Um, yeah, basically, 
Put my hands on the palms of the doors and palms of the doors? Oh no. Did, uh, did you read the description to me? I'm sorry. Oh. Would you? Yes, absolutely. Creates chaos and mischief, scattering near Oh, without the accent. <laughs> In words of Being without <laughs> the area of effect. Choose one, a medium blast template at range, or a cone directly in front of the okay. caster. Okay, so you're doing the cone directly in front of the caster. Yep. You're going to try and just knock this 50-foot-tall door off its hinges mm -hmm. using your power. I am a towering individual. I love it. Why don't you give me uh, the d12 plus the d6 roll? That's the one. Because the d12 is your spell casting. Are there any bonuses to that at all? Uh, no. Does it say d12 plus anything no, it on it? No, not. Okay, the d straight d12. And a 10 will get you a success with a raise. Sweet. Uh, what is the damage on that? Uh, the damage on that... Uh, 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 words. Uh, if I... Uh, 2d6, 3d6 with a raise? 2d6 with a... 2d6 and then I guess with a raise is added. Great, yes. so we'll, with, with the, we'll, add, we'll add another d6 on there for damage. Call it 3d6 three three for damage. For a total of nine, you have the crap out of that door, and it <clears throat> does not seem to have a dent in it of any kind. Is it a pull? Is that what I'm hearing? It's not a push? Well, you don't see any handles. Uh, however, the door begins to slide open. There's no seam in it before, but suddenly the seam opens up in the middle, and the door slowly opens. And standing before you is Lord Dread himself. He looks at all of you, raises his hand, looks down and sees the king's body, and goes, oh shit, what did you do? You better get in here, get in here, come on, come on, quick, come on, quick, 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 quick. Gunfire begins erupting all around you. All around? <laughs> Yes. Like from multiple directions, or like it, it's bursting around us from one direction? Uh, like it's bursting around you from one direction. Okay. Like somebody just decided to take, almost as if they're hurting you inside. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But better hurt it inside than hurt it inside. <laughs> Lord Dread, get the other sword. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, but bust yet. <laughs> and from behind him, uh, a large buxom armored woman uh, with kind of snake-like features comes out and grabs Pierce's body and drags it inside. That's gross. And Lady joins us, right? Lady uh, is still flying around the Tower of Dread. It would be difficult for her to get in uh, width-wise to the door. I was gonna say, because those doors are plenty tall They're enough. plenty tall enough, yeah. No, I mean, if she stood up on Maybe her two legs and went tower. in sideways, okay. it would be possible. So, so do you go in? Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. I'm running. I mean, there's I'm a fire. All right. All right. As you go in, the last person in the door seals up behind you. You hear, as uh, bullets continue to pelt the door. Whoa! Oh, whoa. Yeah, Lord Dread seems very taken aback. Weren't we just trying to kill him? Wait, wait you were here to kill him? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. I thought you were here. Wow, wow, no, no, no. that is really, really dead. Super dead. Oh, uh, well. Is like a One of yours? Or, uh, Lord Dread, can I call you Dread? Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, Dread. Oh, boy. We were just here to get the swords united and like help heal Time Rift or something. I don't really know. Why would you want to unite the swords? Didn't you know they had super magical powers? Yes. That's why you... yeah. But why would you want to unite the swords? Oh. Well, Wait, what are you, you exactly? Something. It's a lot. No, I saw you at the village. I thought you were no, dreadnoughts, no, but then no. you were fighting. It's been a weird day. We've all had a weird day. Yeah, so yeah. Today. weird day. <laughs> that means that's my guy out there. That means I, that I did it, but now it, this is very confusing for me. He, you did that? You're a success, you, and I would love to hear the story. Please. Yeah, I, I, I guess I know. You should write it down. I guess I won. Um, 
You did. <laughs> totally. You won. Oh, wow. Ah, this is a little bit awkward. Um, wow. Has he ever Are won before? Hey, uh, no, you, you guys aren't bad looking guys. Definitely th not. Th thanks. Uh, have you ever wanted to be a male protagonist? I yes. am a male protagonist. I've thought about it. Yeah, you have the look. You have the look. Uh, any experience with, I don't know, magical swords? Yes. I can wield a sword amazingly. This, this so might cool. not be as bad as I thought it was. Don't worry. Okay. We got we got okay, this. we might be able to work this out. Um. Oh, God. But in the meantime... Okay. First things first. We gotta get the sword back into the obelisk. Uh, one of you has to, you know, prove your... Okay. Your worth, and then okay. pull it out of the stone. Yeah, it should be very easy. Then you're the new king. God, oh, I'm gonna I'll take it. Set. I meant to put it in. It should be him. It, it might be, should be the new king, but it's probably. Me. Uh, you guys want to fight over the responsibility? No, people oh. would watch that. No. Okay, I'm willing to do that, but we have to have magic sword versus magic sword. You can't have one sword like not versus magic sword. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good point. Well, talk proudly to sniper, someone who sits for hours and sets up shots. Get the drop on polymath who can detect the probability of incoming artillery shells. That is an attack, attack, attack. That is an excellent question, and one that I know the answer to. You'll find out a little bit later when I get around to it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this should be interesting. So I'll take this lightning sword, whatever, the one that King Pierce had. Right? Is it? Oh, uh, yeah. weirdly. Now that you're looking down at the body, you don't see the sword. Oh. Right. The sword did like, it was there. He had it in his okay. hand. And, oh. But it does not seem to be there now. So we have some issues, Dre. Uh, yeah, we've got huge issues. This yeah. place isn't going to last a couple of days. Wait, what? Dreadful issues? He just said we're all going to die. Oh, no, no, no. You'll, oh, no, you'll be here, so you'll be dead, too. Wow. I'd rather not die. That was solid, though. Thank you. Uh, I don't think we get a bunch of choice in the matter. <laughs> guy, what, what is your name? He's Guy. You're Guy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Um, you can call me Vector Reigns. Okay, I thought you were just going to say very cool guy. And I was like, oh, okay, we're doing descriptions. That's, that's, what, we, yeah. that's what we talked about. That's our trading uh, cards. So, what are you doing here? We came to unite the swords and, uh... Wait, what, do you find, what, do you, uh what, do you, what do you need to unite the swords for? Uh, well... The dead guy is... Pierce. Pierce. The dead guy is Pierce. We all know who Pierce is, right. I'm assuming, right? You guys know him from before? Yep. Yes, we know yep. him from before. Okay. We need him to come and Then I'm gonna him. go ahead and just... Ah! <clears throat> Great. Um... So you know Pierce. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I only, only know what he looks like without it. Yeah, well, he, he's like, he pulls down his hood and takes off his skull mask. And he's like a regular looking guy. What? What? Yeah. Uh, what? He's not talking. Well, this is really bad. So, like, just, just tell me what you're here for, or what, what it's about. Just let me know. Yeah, we just want to leave. <laughs> Like, so leave, leave the world? Yeah. Well, that's not all we that's want. That's why, okay. We want oh, yeah, Captain we want... Faceless down here. Too. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted Captain Faceless. I don't think he's going to be much help uh, anymore. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have a face. Yeah, we need him to pilot a ship. He can't drive without a face. Pilot a ship? Yeah, we can't really. hire another pilot? What are, what are we talking about? Uh, no, he's special. He's special. Apparently, apparently. He's the only one who can pilot the ship. Yep. Oh, it's the Reliance then. Okay, you know, about the you know a little too much. Uh, Anybody who knows Pierce knows about the Reliance. He talks about it almost as much as he talks about himself. Which okay, is astonishing fair. because he abandoned it. Yep. Yeah, I can't Come believe on. he's dead. That is so messed up. Okay, um, yeah, no. Uh, so real talk. Um, <laughs> I hired. Uh, I've been hiring guys to kill Pierce for like almost a year now. This is okay. part of the the game we play and. I may have taken it a step too far this time. You think? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, no, the, the, the dude I hired seemed, you know, fine. I just... Well, I mean, 
you did hire someone who kills people. They, they're not super trustworthy, right? You, got, you shouldn't have been able to touch him. I'm telling you. Let's talk about how God. I have got his fortune. Set. touched him. Bad. I have Pierce's fortune settings all the way up, all the way up. Doesn't make it. Are you I'm in not making of this thing. In, I'm not. I am this thing. This is me. This is. Hey, look at this. It's. We're inside you right now. Well, uh, Torrentia. I am Torrentia. That's me. I'm. The, well, I'm the, 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 the survival mechanism for Torrentia. This doesn't make a lot of sense. No. Why do you need to leave? This is a great place. Sure, 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 sure. But this place is in a bag. I'm aware. Yep, yep. On the ship. Yep, yep. The reliance. Yep. It's supposed to be in the bag room. Yeah, it's not in the bag room anymore. It's on a ship now. Yep. Yes. A spaceship. Yeah. So the reliance. reliance. Okay, it's on the yep. reliance. Which is currently hurling into the sun. Yep. Right. A yeah. sun. Not a sun. Yeah. A sun. Oh, that is not the. No, that that's gonna be all bad for me. Yeah, so I'm, you don't want that. You don't want that. We're on the same page here. I don't want to. Maybe you need a. Burn up? No, I don't want to. No. I mean, I'm with him. All right. Let's not be burnt up by the sun. Let's That's not. Step one. Eh? No. Wow. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, come with me. And. <laughs> He starts walking down the hallway through, through the, like, you're in this scary, like, skull entrance chamber of this tower. And he, like, he just absolutely bypasses the big stairs and, like, waves his hand near one of the wall panels and it opens up like a, you know, like a spaceship door, you know, okay. complete with the shh sound. Okay. We still call you Dread? Dread? Yeah, 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 fine. Okay, call me whatever. Terenthi is a really long and somewhat it feminine is. sounding name. What about Terry? Ooh, Terry. you can call me Terry. Yeah, All that's right. great. I like Terry. 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 All right. Wait, so are Terry we to understand that you have basically... You want to follow me, like I just said. I don't know what part of this is not clear. We can oh, walk and talk, Terry. We can walk and talk. Oh, great. Right. Let's stork in this. Yeah, come on. All right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying you have been running a harem for Pierce? Not exactly. Not, not exactly. Exactly. Okay, so... um. What is the training regimen for the people you have? You guys are meta pilots? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. you might get some of this. Um, so are, are you familiar with uh, with, with uh, pocket metaverses? Yes. Yes. I'm intimately yes. familiar well with pocket versus, metaverses. Yeah. I, yes. Lots of classes. Okay. We're, we're well versed. So like versus, metaverses yeah. are these big worlds, right? And they have all these, you know, they have worlds and within worlds, within worlds, within worlds. And they're, 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 they're Basically self-sustaining. So every once in a while, there's like these little pocket metaverses that aren't really metaverses. They're like, they're like a dim large dimensional spaces that uh, that that feed off of particular things like uh, fear. Very common. Okay. Like this little metaverse. Oh. Well, like well, this little pocket will stick onto this big metaverse and it'll like suck all the fear out of you know kids or whatever. You know what I'm talking about now? Like you've, oh yeah, I've, we've been to like I've been to at least seven. Um, I did it last Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like you're lying to me, and I don't even care. But like, yeah. you get the, the basic. Like, it's like a, a parasitic relationship, right? Like, like a little limpet. Right. So there's there's these little metaverses that are just real tiny, like this one that doesn't stick onto a bigger one and kind of you know suck the particular type of energy that they need that out of it until it's full, kind of energy. and then it kind of moves know. on, right? I don't. I want to know what kind of energy does this suck. Uh. I'm I'm glad you asked. We're not like a, we're not one of the fear ones. Otherwise, everything would be, would be much scarier. But this is kind I of mean, like you've got skulls all over. This is about like uh, endorphins, really. Like you know, uh, exciting you suck adventure, uh, exciting or pleasurable experiences of any kind. So anyway, there used to be this guy that oh. was like starting to take over metaverses, right? And he was real bad. Anyway. Metaversal enforcement was all over this dude, but couldn't do anything about it. Anyway, some jokers came along and killed this dude, right? Mm, yes. So all these people got freed, and anyway, that's a whole thing. But because metaversal enforcement didn't have to, like, really pay attention. Helen, watch out. It's a harvest to cover your ankles. Hashtag hack attack. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sat cross-legged with my feet under me. She yeah, I, know, I know what's up. Uh, <laughs> oh. Where was I? Oh, you were uh, metaversal enforcement wasn't really touching right. this place. So you now, like all of a sudden, this guy is dead. This evil warlord guy who you know, God, you know, screw that guy. He sucks or whatever. 
Uh, I never had to deal with them. Sure. Uh, all of a sudden, metaversal enforcement is like, hey, these, this is a non-symbiotic relationship. You, you get me, right? What? You're, you're a praxis alien, so you understand what I'm talking about. Like a symbiotic relationship, both sides benefit, right? Like there's these things feeding off of each other or helping each other in a symbiotic way. Fifteen. Right. Yeah, so the way you you get me though, right, guy? Right, guy. Stay with us. You buddy. feel Stay me? All right. Us. You're good. You got this, guy. Right. Motivation, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, not a symbiotic relationship, like the way that. That, that you give your body to the Praxis alien, and it gives you all of its power and knowledge. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know. You're... It's exactly like that, but this is a non symbiotic I'm sure there was a ton this, of consent These little pocket metaverses yeah. weren't giving anything back. Oh. So, enforcement is, like, suddenly all over us. They start wiping out these little pocket guys left and right. I am one of these pocket guys. Uh... Like, this is, this is me, this whole place. And, uh... So, Terry, have you thought about how you're going to give back to your community? Well, obviously, I already have. I mean, death was imminent mm. <laughs> uh, because I wasn't really allowed to do that. And I didn't want to deal with getting destroyed by metaversal enforcement. So, uh, Pierce and I came to a little arrangement. He made sure that I got bound to this bag. But still, that doesn't that doesn't feed a guy. <laughs> you know sure, what I mean? Sure, sure, so sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if I if I got one person that I feed like that can help me feed this place, mm -hmm. someone, you know, that also and will starve me out in a matter of days. Pierce will have mm -hmm. enough but, excitement to keep you alive. No, not even close. Weird. But if right. I broadcast to the right minds on the right metaverses and sell that experience. Then their endorphins are released at the same time. So what I essentially did, uh, instead of being a sentient being that like seeks out food and well, I became more entrepreneurial. And so now I'm essentially, uh, you know, like a producer. I've got all the settings set for maximum endorphin rush in a particular demographic of people. Mm, yes. Yeah, of course. Children. And uh, yeah, children. broadcast into ones. broadcast mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. things like dreams or in some metaverses, even full on shows, and they get to live through Pierce, do what he does. Through so I'm it's like a combination Love Island, survival. It's an adventure porn, essentially. <sighs> All right, it's a heavy task. But I'll be the new one. And I gotta say, I vote for him too. What are we gonna do? It doesn't matter if we're all in the sun. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm living. Let's with go it. back. Let's go back. So to uh, let me kind of show you the setup here. So uh, I've got the command console. This controls okay. well everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. That way, we can set it to the parameters that are gonna get us the most viewers and the most clicks. Essentially. I press the button. Don't touch the buttons. You don't know what that button does. Uh-uh. Guy, you know what that button does. I think I might know what that button does. <laughs> Press it. Do you really think that's a good idea, or you? I think it's a great idea. Is you, are you pressing the button? Yes, I am. No, oh, no, 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 I'll, I'll put, you, you push like three. You push three. Oh, so uh, let me actually. We rolled a one on that. Oh boy! Uh, you begin to float off the ground. <gasps> Apparently, you're messing with the world's gravity. Excellent. It's we still have our wings. Yeah, but they're not doing much good. <laughs> okay. While you guys float around, I, I I think I can figure this out. You're Actually, also beginning wait. to float a little bit too. No, I'm floating. Guy? All right. How are you gonna, what? Guy. You holding out on us? I don't know. She pushed three buttons. Is it like a toggle? Right. What if she pushed them again? Maybe we uh, go back down? Maybe. I kind of like floating. I don't remember. Um, is there, so Dred, Fred, uh, Terry, uh, how did you contact these people to kill Pierce and how did uh, they get a gun to work? That's my I question. really need to get to that button because anything that's like flying or just laying on the ground right now is 
He's going to be in big trouble. This is how natural disasters happen, people. Anyone flying? No one is. Ever, ever, anyone who was flying is now kind of flying more uncontrollably, and anything that wasn't we flying gotta save is Lady. now flying. Lady, no! Lady, no! Apparently, this infects the entire world that you're in. Mm. Okay, so you probably shouldn't push any more buttons. You have to get to the buttons in order to put them back. I'm trying to get to the buttons. So okay, to how are you trying to get to the buttons? You're gonna swim through the air. Yes. That you you look like you're swimming, or just, or just but you're just really trying. just kind of slowly rotating. And this isn't working. Further. Wait, I'm coming around. Hold on, let me come around again. There we go. All Guy, right. Guy, I can help you. No. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. what? Guy. A lot of people were saying stuff. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't say. I didn't say. Guy. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Allow me to assist you. Uh, Dad, I, I don't need to. I can work the machine all by myself. Guy, this tower is about to float into the space of a metaverse that doesn't have any space travel. Mm. Okay. All right, just for a minute. In just two minutes, minute. you'll all be dead if I don't. So maybe just this once, bro, let me help. <sighs> Never called me bro before. Uh, all right, no, okay. Uh, fine, fine, just for a minute. And then I want it back. I want my body back. It's evil what you do. No, uh, just, just straight just, from the bowels just of Just do what I tell you. Sorry, just, just think it out loud. Focus on yourself and think about moving in that direction. Also, spend a PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that part out loud! <laughs> All right. Where's it, guys? All right. What's your uh, psionics score? Uh, where is, it? is it 12? I believe it is. I believe it is, too. There it is. Where is it? it is 12. Can we get a 12 and a 6 roll for Guy? Oh, oh, yeah, dang. that'll be no problem at all. That's oh. a 22 with your raise. Uh, with the raise, it's going to be <laughs> no problem. Yeah, you can absolutely fully move yourself as if you are moving your own body right now, uh, okay. telekinetically. So it's weird. It's like you're moving yourself like a puppet. So it's not quite as uh, it's not quite as comfortable as it would be, but you can do anything you normally could do. Uh, you work your way down to the control panel and... Move the gravity back to normal, it's easy. Okay. How high are they? Up in the air? Should oh, I... no more than like six, seven oh, feet. Okay. They're not going to okay. take any damage right. from the fall. So sure. But you turn it down real slow, so they basically just mm. float right back down, real gentle-like. Ah. I did it! I knew I did you could, guy. That was the As test. you look up at the display, just about anything that there is can be controlled by that machine. Looking at the settings, you can see maybe a little bit why this world is the way that it is. Okay, this right here seems to be why they are all so horny, really. I mean, as far as I can tell, that's basically what it is. You yeah, this is turning down to a three, and it's yeah, first basically day. their 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 mm. desire and and, and uh, uh, ability to act on their id is turned all the way up. Okay, huh. right, and giving them very lowered inhibitions. Everyone on the planet, in fact. So should we turn that down? Because every instinct says I shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, I've got an urge to press more buttons. You may want Look to do you that. May, yeah, you may want to, like, turn up impulse uh, control a little <laughs> yeah. bit because I got itchy fingers in there. Buttons, so many yeah, just buttons. so you know, those don't affect any of you. <laughs> I'm still uh, affected. I, know, I still have it to I'm very affected. But that might just He's like, oh yeah, you're, Terry's like, oh yeah, you're you're a natural at this. You've done this before? Uh, no, 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 still, not at all. Nice, actually. Uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, That's our guy. What should I? Uh, oh, well, well, I mean, we gotta. What a I guess. I mean, who's gonna be the new protagonist? Ah. Uh, this, my, my this guy. guy. Okay, so cool. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, I guess let, let's figure out what kind of parameters you like. Swords. We got to get the swords. Where is the? Where's the sword? I don't know. It was with Pierce's body, and which now is right there. Yeah. Now it's not. So, Mister, you are this pocket metaverse. Where's the sword? You know. 
not Pierce. What? Sure looks like Pierce. I got a weird thing in the you, uh, you look at the ground, and there is the unconscious Bustia lying there. What? What? Is that the booby woman? I can't that tell. That the booby woman. Oh. Okay. That was Pierce a second ago, right? It was everyone, Pierce. Everyone? It was a very Pierce Pierce, but it was Pierce. Give me notice checks all around. Vector Reigns, what's your notice skill? D6. D6 and a D6 for Vector Reigns. Ooh. Let's reroll that six. That's a seven. That's not going to be quite good enough. Uh, Sixes, baby. Sixes for Princess Hedgehog. Again, not quite ah. there for what I'm looking for. And finally, Guy Quitman uh, is an eight, I think. D8, great. D8 D6. That's a D8. That's a D8. All right. <laughs> Double deuces. <laughs> not going to do it. No. All right. I know. A single tear. Sam Raimi tear. Mm -hmm. so you got one out of me. Mm -hmm. He's he like goes up to the Terry walks up to the console and pushes a couple of buttons. Interior, all the lights come on, and you see that like there not only are this console, which looks very computer like, but like all these screens around. Hmm. Most of them are showing the inside of the room you're in now, and crawling towards the door is this slightly headless. Two holes in it, yeah. body of Pierce crawling towards the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. doing the most obvious sneaky walk you have ever seen in your life. You look over to your right, and sure enough, there is a crawling Pierce body. What the hey? What Anybody? The... I shoot this it in is... the leg. You shoot it, you shoot it in the leg. I'm going to try to shoot it in the leg with a crossbow. Okay. Give me a give me a <laughs> oh, shooting this could test. Go one of two ways. <laughs> give me a shooting test. Uh, I got a D ten for shooting. A D ten and D six. Oh yeah, yeah. That'll. Let <laughs> me take a look at this. Uh, this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got him. Yeah. Uh, let's roll. Th what is, what is the what's the <laughs> damage on that crossbow? I don't know. I think it's just a two D six. So <laughs> three die six because you got him with a raise. Oh my heck. Yeah. That'll. I mean if. He's not dead. Just That'll in the do leg. It. Just in the leg. Oh, six points of damage doesn't quite beat his toughness. But uh, that doesn't really matter because now they have a crossbow bolt in their leg. What? Why, why did you do that? Slow down ah! over there. Ah! You hear like a, just the squeakiest noise from this body that is now pinned to the floor by a crossbow bolt. I stopped it from getting the way. Well... I mean, Th there are other ways. Wait a minute. Where's the sword? Says Terry. Hey, um, not Pierce. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. Ah, and it begins shifting in form. You see, it become this strange, like, faceless, milky white, fleshed thing for just a second before it takes on the very obvious form of baby. Oh. What? Baby. Baby, baby, baby. She reaches Oh. She reaches down and yanks the the crossbow bolt and goes That was annoyingly close to my brain. In your legs. And she throws it back down on the ground. Okay, well, I did what I'm supposed to do. So all this other stuff that you're talking about is freaking me out. I don't want to hear anything about it. Well, let's go back to how you're not Pierce. It, yeah, I, I'm Would curious not? about that too. Uh, not, not Pierce. Baby, we Baby. met. We're, you were sitting sure, in a room. Sure, I led you sure, out to the king. Sure, Which was thirty nice. seconds yep. ago, you were in the shape of Pierce. I, uh, <laughs> I am a doppelganger. Oh. It's what I do. I can change shapes. Uh, my king asked me to do a task for him, and so I did it. Now, the brain cannot help but jump to some really uncomfortable places here. How often does he ask you to look like other people? Anytime he wants. Like who? Oh, usually one of the others. Although, just do you, real. Yeah, do you know what a Scarlett Johansson is? Yeah, I think she's Asian. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, 
Well, so you can actually do that. Oh yeah, I can read the surface thoughts of any sentient being and then take on that form. Sure. Did you get Scarlett Johansson from me? No, I got Jessica Biel from you. Oh. What did you get from me? Uh, it kind of looks like Toad from the Mario Brothers. <laughs> huh, I was thinking that too. Do you guys know what the Mario Brothers is? I have no idea. Okay. No <laughs> idea whatsoever. So what, why you, so mm. not that sort. I was unconscious for a minute here. I admit mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, are you friends with Lord Dread? Have you betrayed my king? Because I will kill you all right now. <laughs> no. no, 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 not. It's a long not. story. We're old college buddies, actually. Yeah. You know, yeah, I want to hear more about what this machine does. Me too. Oh, uh, what uh, else can it control? What is this impulse control button? Um, well, well, should I, uh, should I? Terry, say, turn down it? the intelligence. <laughs> uh, on the females, it's pretty much as low as it can go. Shit. And yet. So impulse control? What do you think? I don't know what do it's for. What does it do? I think, now, I might be wrong about this, but I think it kind of controls you everything in one way or another so i've been being even... controlled this whole time is what you're telling me well i mean gently you... guided yeah uh, we'll go with that uh, cold maybe uh, seemingly nudged made <laughs> more suggestible mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to suggestive things and what do these Gosh. screens do Okay, you asked us a question. What about we ask you a question? What Pierce exactly asked you to do? He asked me to keep you people occupied until well, the fight was over. And then... Why? Because he didn't want to go with you. He had to stay with us. Oh, oh my God. Will these screens show us? Terry, will these screens show us what Pierce is doing right now? Uh, yeah, show me Pierce. It appears to be Honey, you think her name was? Oh, come on. And Sweetie, look at that. You just didn't see her because she was kind of behind there for a second. That a boy. He's an artist, i got to admit. Yes. My goodness. I've never even seen that done before. So now we know what Pierce is. Oh. Terry just is like, oh, for fuck's sake. How many? Oh, come on. Oh, he has these many swords. This isn't even, oh, man. So oh, that's what the screens do, baby. So now we've answered your question. Hmm. I am, I think I'm really mad. I think I'm you really should mad. be. Oh, but not at Pierce. He's no. perfect. Too. Yeah, he's uh, pretty cool. Wait a minute, that does not track. It doesn't. Tell me about these buttons. What do they do? Well, they um, control certain things, not you. Because uh, you're your lie, own thing. Don't you lie, know I can read your mind, right? Don't lie to her. I, I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Yes, fine. You're... Don't, don't lie so close to a mind reader. Okay, let's see. Still and she learn, starts learn. playing with buttons. Everything. She's just like, okay, we're basically sex crazed idiots, so maybe let's pop that up a little bit. Let's turn that one to turn that one for me. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I can turn it. Okay. Yes, this is all tracking now. That son of a bitch. All right. We're all on the same page, right, baby? Yeah. 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 Wait, do you have a real name now? No? Still baby? Okay, baby. We're all angry. Just like you. So much like you. I can see this your anger. I'm thing. also angry. Look, <laughs> you know? I've just spent the last several seconds coming to terms with the fact that I am uh, essentially a piece of a world mm -hmm. that has its own sentience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yep. I much. can't be angry with my husband because I still love him. And I don't know how much of that is this. So tell me how much of it is this. Oh God, if only we knew. If, if, uh, do you see the love track on here, anyone? Guy? It doesn't seem to be a love track. Well, so your love isn't on here. It's just how you feel about him. Do you want me to push something to calm you down? But, uh, what but are these ones down here? Stockholm she points at like the- syndrome is a thing. There are these distinctly <laughs> like pink and blue oh, sections of the oh, screen. I love that. Uh, the male portion, everything is basically turned down as far as it can go. Intelligence, body, you know. 
who it looks like Terry or someone has made it so every male member of this species is a horrible little troll of some kind, as opposed to a, a normal person. Um, so, uh, weird thing here. Um, yeah, yeah. Someone, uh, Pierce maybe, Pierce, has yeah. turned all the men or any male oh, threatening his... Pierce has never been in here. Oh, so this is just your... Yeah. Why, though? I based it purely on desire. On Pierce's desire or your viewers' No, desire? no, no. The base, like, base... I guess, desire of that demographic, you know? They want sure, to see I, I would just like to go on record here saying that there are plenty of people out in the multiverses who are attracted to men and not necessarily right. peer style men. So like, you could be- That was just based on the gender of the first new... person that showed up, a protagonist. I, I just turned all the settings way down on the man and way up that way, uh, you know, and I turned up his fortune settings so nothing really bad could happen to him. That way, he uh, you know he has a villain to fight. Uh, here, see, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, helping yeah. feed the planet, uh, and he always wins, and he gets the girl, and, and they love him for it. So you're really I not, love him for it. You're you're not really a bad guy, are well, you? Well, I mean, well, I mean, I don't, I don't really but, suffer from the same moral compass that a human or a human like would suffer from. Well, no. it sounds like you're more like an assistant. I so. am <laughs> the survival mechanism for this particular metaverse. Of course, I'm like a are. feeding tube. No, you're, <laughs> you're slash TV producer. So just like TV, yeah. yeah like Pretty you know how like, like the angler scene. fish, which you know about, ah! has the thing on the front of its head. I'm, I'm kind of that, you know. Coming back. Those are terrifying. Right? They are yes, super they are. Scary. Yeah. So, okay, you are a bad guy. I got oh, you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. no, no. Hey, look, wow. I have a completely symbiotic relationship with, uh, with the viewers that keeps me alive. So I'm not feeding off of anything, nor am I breaking any meta metaversal laws. What I'm doing isn't even technically morally wrong uh, because all these people are me, baby. In fact, they them? have life. I, I've, I've helped create life. You've helped create life. No, uh, no, no, wait. Uh, they're all you? Kinda, yeah. I mean, they're, they're separate from me, but yeah. When I went to get my fur loincloth, I made out with one of you. Three. Oh my god! <laughs> No, oh. no, we got all that on tape. It got some clicks too. Tape <laughs> dice. Can we just get a rerun real quick? Oh my god! Uh, if that's what you need, oh are we worried about crashing into a sun? Yes. Yes. So if everyone's you, mm -hmm. and you hired some assassins, I are, hire assassins all the time. I mean, that are he also does you. Right. No, oh, no. Okay. This one actually contacted me from outside. He was one of our viewers. Uh, incredible resume. Ooh. Uh, do tell that incredible resume like it was all verifiable Ooh. stuff so I yeah I was just like oh yeah this is going to be an actual challenge for him which okay. is obviously going to up viewership a whole bunch uh, I didn't expect it to happen this quickly I thought there was going to be like a but yeah, a, a definite know. antagonist vibe going on you know I'm like oh yeah this is going to be great I've just been sitting back and watching you wanted a couple of days off I really did yeah sure vacations mm -hmm. yeah it was part of the. I mean, he would have gotten out of it. He's got a. His fortune settings are all the way up. Look, you. Well, obviously. His <laughs> I could drop rain on this whole planet his. and none of it would hit Pierce. Hmm. His fortune was I, with him because it didn't actually hit Pierce. That's true. So he's still lucky. Yeah. So wait, you can yeah. control his luck slider? Can you control our luck slider? Uh, you're not part of here, so no. Okay, but Pierce is part of here? Uh, no, but he does wield the sword. Ah! ah. And then- I'd like to point out that the fur loincloth is also the hashtag 441. You're not wrong. <laughs> you are- you are wearing me on your dick. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's uh, it's sweaty in there, huh? But we definitely it need the weird. sword still because, like, the sword is obviously the interface. So this, 
We need Pierce. We got to get Pierce. We should go get Pierce. We should. Does anybody have Baby says, Pierce? yes, we absolutely should go get Pierce yes, right now. Go. I have a couple of words for we him. We should also turn up the men. And get me some pants. That'll take a little while. Oh, really? It'll be it doesn't, like, pants? instantly transform people. Uh, it goes into the water supply with the people. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so the, I mean, right now, the women are slowly going to get smarter and oh. less horny. Oh. Okay. And uh, okay. from the way Nothing you... Nothing wrong way with you, being horny, though, just to put it out there. You can turn it back up if you want. I'm sure no one would do complain. I'd, I'd like to. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. This place is about endorphins. You can do that. Yeah. Just, just turn them all up. Well, if it doesn't affect Well, but so. we want to make sure that, like, you know... Consent? Is we there a come, consent button? Yeah, Looking like at this machine. That, uh, that comes with intelligence? Yeah, so we're telling Perfect. So that's, intelligence it's already hot. It's already high enough for that to be in place. Nice. And attractiveness on everybody. We want it up. More? Uh, the, the, the females is the currently dread. as high as it can go. I know. I'm talking about the dreadnoughts. Oh, you want, oh, yeah. you want the, the male's attractiveness up? Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. He turns it all the way up. Nice. Right. Right. In a Don week, they'll all be, you know... Adonis's. Are Brad Pitt? What's a Brad Pitt? Doesn't matter. Good looking, but apparently smelly. You know, that's fine. I read the magazines. Sometimes that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, Pierce, we gotta keep Pierce. Yeah. We really shouldn't go out the front door. No, there's there is fire. There is a Wait, sniper. I told. <laughs> How is there a sniper? I've got the technology settings all the way down. Oh wait, so you can change that? Oh yeah. Uh, how magic affects the place? How technology affects the place? Or how the place affects technology? Vice versa. You know how it is. I can turn down bullets. Can I turn down bullets? Bullets are already turned down. Right? Bullets oh, are already turned down. Turn down. Bullets. Oh, yeah. so there's no uh, gunfire outside now, or? Well, oh no, there's still gun. They, they were already oh. all the way down. The bullets oh, shouldn't God. work here at all. That doesn't so make any sense. Magic gotcha. bullets? Okay. No, no, that would still be a gun. It would still combine the two. And since uh -huh. the technology uh -huh. setting is below three, are they not from here? You don't even get bullets no, until they're five. Not, they're not. They're not size. from here, so it wouldn't affect oh. them. All your stuff doesn't work, right? Yeah, that's why I'm confused. So if you just oh, it's gotta be from somewhere else. You know what? Let's let's turn it up for the time being. That way, all your stuff will work. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I don't have any guns. Oh, can you overcharge magic? Can uh, I don't think it's a good idea. This place is very, very like the magic is already Sorry. pretty much always all the way I turned up. I, could. I, I can that. add in like things like wild magic or. But that tends to cause a lot of natural disasters, we which we're that. on the verge of right this second anyway. Yeah. No, Let's go find for her. I yeah, yeah. am a natural disaster. Yeah. Uh, but okay. portal magic is a thing here. So nice. how do you think I just appear in the village all the time? Fair enough. Wait, we can't take Lady back? What's Lady? Oh. Large dinosaur. Large dinosaur. Large dinosaur. I, I told her oh. to meet me on the North Tower, and she's going to get really, really worried if I'm not there. Oh, yeah, we'll just... Turn up her intelligence yes. all the way. Yes. Right? Yes. Now the dinosaurs are nearly as smart as the people. Is that going to be a problem? No, no, no. that's great. That's great. Okay. Are, I'm going to put it a little lower because there are people riding them right now, and they'll uh, they might uh, get eaten in very inventive fair. ways yeah. if I, no, I don't. Fair. And anything else? I mean, I'm here. <laughs> if you could turn up their communication skills on the dinosaurs, so they could talk to us. Yeah. Talking dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Talking dinosaurs. Yep. Yeah, thank you. They can talk now. Sick. I like it. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> but they could probably open doors now, too. I don't think they're going to be able to take her, though. Would have had to do it with magic. I mean, so. The gun? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think. Maybe if they're, like, I don't know, like a, 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 it's a metal magic mage? Bullet? Or something? Just shooting? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It could be a thing. Anything's possible. Anything's What's possible. that? That's a good question. Hmm. That's probably not a good sign. No, that's probably not. Um, well, we should go. We should really we go. We should definitely, definitely go. Through the portal. Uh, the portal isn't there yet, but... Oh. The room begins to shake. That's not good. Why are you doing that, Terry? I am not doing that. Who's doing it, Terry? Not good. Terry, is there a the chance the vessel the bag is on is experiencing any level of turbulence right oh, now? Oh, oh yeah, it's going into a sun. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Might be that. We're definitely going to want to hurry. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so I'm, excited to talk to the lady. I know, right? 
<laughs> Baby uh, goes into the other room and like slides open this curtain and is like, okay. Grabs a gun. All right. Bring me to my husband. Oh, dang. Well, <laughs> we, should, we, should, we should, yeah. He'll, he'll be fine. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> Through a portal. He creates a, a large portal using his, using his blade as though he's cutting into the air itself and creating a doorway out of it. Uh, it's actually uh, kind of cool looking. Uh, very cool. <laughs> but it's, so, it's so very cartoon villain. When I get that sword. Does it open up onto the scene that we were watching Pierce? Yes, as a matter of fact, it does. He is mid-action. Oh. oh. Well, we found him. Close, ah! close, close on? No? In the middle Sorry. of something? Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Um, hey, yeah. Put that away. Come and sheathe your sword, and uh, we'll have a second to talk. Yeah, he drops his loincloth back down over it. It yeah. doesn't seem to be doing she, much good. I can still so, uh, see it. Your grandma on baseball. Um, <laughs> is that is that how it works? I like baseball. Hey, uh, I, I, uh, I, uh, three's company, right? See, uh, you, yeah. <laughs> okay. So totally alive, huh? That's great. Hello, hey, husband. Here's baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, she wants to talk to you. <laughs> Uh, hi, she, hey, hits the, she hits the button on the side and goes, well, what, what, what's, with the gun? Right here. What, what's with the gun, baby? Um, no, you, you don't have a gun. Story. Did, you, did you know that you are the only eligible male here for a reason? Um, no, I had no idea. You know I can read minds, right? <laughs> okay, I kind of had a little bit of an idea, but it wasn't my idea. No, it was not. And I still love you, despite yourself. Although you are a creepy horn dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you it's saw. not even their night! You skipped. You were busy. Your wife is pissed. I suppose I was. She's but you're not now. Taking boulettes for you. Well, well, so many boulettes. Bullets. I bet they were pretty painful. Yeah. Bullets. Bullets so, don't work here. Uh, About that, Pierce, uh, one, they do now, and two, they did before for whoever this assassin is. Mm -hmm. Fun story. No, no, you don't understand. Bullets don't work here. You can't yeah. make them work Yeah, these here. do. Okay. And yet. <laughs> and yet, uh, we've we seen are. the machine that makes it all possible. Yeah, t Terry helped us out. The parameters yeah. have been reset so these heroes can help us today. Let's just um, say that babies no, You're still not fine. Like, that bullets don't. Oh, I try to pull out my gun and I'm gonna shoot the like, wall like the ground. Okay, so you changed the settings. Yeah, yeah, we changed the settings. But and then I got shot. We changed the settings, you got shot. Yeah. Okay, so let's so let's backtrack there. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Let's backtrack for a second. Maybe a good idea. Uh, until that change happened, bullets don't. You were shot. But they did. Bullets yeah, that's weren't. a problem. Is it? Do tell me, oh Pierce. <laughs> we had no idea. If only we hadn't been lied to and a doppelganger hadn't been inserted and we were on our way home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, you know, it's a little bit your fault. But I don't know fault. while you were getting your world rocked if you noticed that the world was rocking. Well, no, you did we'll feel the earthquake. I kind of thought that was me, you know. <laughs> no, it was not your no. performance. Not. No. Maybe don't. Um, <laughs> give me a hacking roll, Pierce. So All right. D10 and a D6, please. <laughs> Boom, that'll do it with a raise. I didn't realize. Is that copyrighted in any way? Not the chipmunk version of it, which apparently that was. <laughs> so, bullets. Bullets. That, no way the bullets could have worked unless they brought an extra dimensional space into this extra dimensional space and kept the gun inside the extra dimensional inside space. The extra -dimensional inside space. the extra dimensional space, which creates all kinds of problems that we won't even go into. But that's, get, that's some planning. Like, you need to get rid of that. You need to get rid of that guy. That that that's that's got to go, uh, or that's going to be a problem for the people here, whoever is here. Um. Uh, so it's like a parasite a on top of a parasite. 
No, Paris not exactly. I mean, there are extramensional spaces that aren't beings. They, they do exist. You, you know what else is a problem, Pierce? Spells, specifically. Yeah. Magic Bags of holding, that type of thing. Rope trick spells. Hurtling into the sun. That is also That's a problem. problem. You're gonna burn up and die. I'm a little soon. bit, I'm wondering where your it's priorities imminent. lie. Uh, Lord Dread is standing there with them, by the way. But, like, his cape is down and he's got his mask off, which he supposedly wears all the time. Dude, what are you doing out of costume? Uh, dude, we obviously have a bit of a problem here. You didn't say you were gonna hurdle me into a sun. We're supposed to be in a tower. We're hurtling towards the sun. Tower's that way. Get in it. <laughs> no tower. So, yes, we do have to go. We, we can't leave rope trick guy. Here. Okay. Like that that's not a thing. Well, let's find him. Plus, I kind of want to know who you know. Rope got, trick guys. Went through all the process of a rope trick and guns and. Been... We can find that all out at the console. Yeah, but let's. The portal is still open behind you, glowing and making that. <laughs> let's go back there wall. before a guy with a gun shows up here. Right. Truth. I'm gonna have a gun. You oh, do God. have your gun. Guy with a gun. Guy, guy has your guy has his gun. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. So, we so you walk back, back through the portal, the you're back in the control center of the tower. You've never seen this before, Pierce. It's uh, a little so bit more sci-fi-y than you thought it was going to be. This is what it looks like. And, and how many how many viewers are we at? Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Oh, you've got almost 200,000. All right. It's all not right. bad. We're getting there. We're getting yep. There. Wait, are they watching us now? Not inside the tower. Okay. Good to know. But, you know, yeah. they were just watching, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna die. <laughs> like, yeah. Getting some angry comments in chat die. about it, I'm sure. <laughs> so, um, just <laughs> rope trick guy. Rope trick guy. That's, that's an issue. Um, There's a few ways you can handle it. To locate him, anyway. I don't know how to operate this console. I can do it. Guy can do it, apparently. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, guy, you want to show us the guy? Uh, guy. Yeah. Guy showing you the guy. I can do that. Guy, do you have a? Not give me a common guy, knowledge roll, guy. What is yours? What is it? What, what was that? Not the guy's guy. Though. What's the score? Say it again. Common yeah. knowledge. It's uh, right towards the top of the second skill down. Common oh, right knowledge. There. It's a four. That's great. So give me a four and six. Bang! That four will get you where you need to be, buddy. <laughs> nice. Very close. I'll take it. So, assuming that he is hiding, right, in an extra-dimensional space, mm -hmm. waiting for people to come out the door so he can kill them more, right? More. if you just turned off the magic for a second, that extra-dimensional space would disappear. Oh. Feel kind of dumb. Got a suggestion. Uh, why don't we just turn the magic off? Uh, point, aren't we in a floating castle? Indeed you oh, are! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you turn the technology up high enough, and you the magic... That through. Yeah, before you turn the magic down, if you turn the technology up, the magnets oh, and see. repulsors <laughs> will take the place of oh, yeah. the magic. So yeah, sci-fi, turn down the fantasy. And we only need to turn down for... Just a second. He's gonna, so he'll fall he's gonna, out. You just gotta turn it off and turn it back on again. Yeah, once turn he's it. falling out, we'll be able to see him. And uh, then, you know, maybe you can, like, shoot the gun out of his hands or something fancy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you can, can do that. that? I'm gonna shoot him in the legs, too. That's my new thing. <laughs> there was, but I kind of want to be talking. Yeah, 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 legs and hands only. So, uh, you know, lots of times Unlike random strangers show up here, here and, uh, you know, they're supposed to. Try and kill me, and they, they always fail miserably. And you know, I guess yeah, this one's okay, really okay. good, though. So uh, yeah. I think that's there's got to be something more sure... than just really good to show up with exactly what you need. Like that's some planning. You know what sure, I mean? Sure, 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 sure. You're real cool, Pierce. We all know it. There was no way at all that you were being assisted behind the scenes in any of this. Can we just take care of the dude? Okay. Way to completely miss the point of that. All right. <laughs> wow. So, uh, okay. I'm going to basically just unplug it and plug it back in again. Turn one so, yeah, turn you go grab, up, You right? basically grab yes. the, we need yes. the, the slider right. that handles the magic, and you just flip it off all the way down to zero. Count to five. Flip it right back on. And I'm watching the monitors outside of the castle there. Sure enough, 
uh, about a mile and a half in the air, or well, about a thousand feet in the air, about a mile and a half away from the floating tower, uh, about where you got shot from. We were keeping the sensors around there. A body begins to fall out of the out of midair. Nice. And there he goes. Ah, uh, I'm gonna oh. cast fly on him, I guess. Uh, you're not close enough to do that. that oh, never mind. I'm going to watch him die horribly. I, I think we didn't think this one all the way through. Um, unless, you know, get him right. Terry's like, okay, hold on. Pause. Enhance. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you get more of a close-up. Uh, it's a, it's a, a, a humanoid person uh, in kind of an armored suit oh. with a really, really, really big gun. Uh, I don't know him. Never seen him before. I Wearing kind of a creepy, so. like, snake eyes kind of mask. I don't know this guy. Never seen anything like it before. No clue. I don't know this guy. I hope he can bounce. Is he going to be okay? Is, is he still falling? How Did you turn the technology level uh, up first, yes, right? Yes, Okay, yeah. well, he probably won't bounce. Oh, Lady, okay. get the dude! <laughs> no, I, you can, you can, I'm not sure oh, that's going to work. But we're we're going to try it. Bad, okay. Okay. Uh, how are you going to contact Lady? Through the power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go step out in the hallway, uh -huh. and I'm gonna use the power of friendship to try and hear you and see how that goes. Okay, okay. I mean, I, work. friendship so can be really, really loud. loud. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get lady up here. <laughs> you might just do that. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. That I'm going to run to a window that's hopefully underneath. There are no windows in the Tower of Dread. You, Terry, you control. This is all you. Mm -hmm. You made that loincloth that he's wearing. I am that loincloth that he's Can wearing. You, Stop you saying it. You are also lady. So. You're also lady then, right? Uh -huh. Terry, lady, fetch. But they're separate, guys. They're separate. They're separate. I, I can do it. It just takes a little concentration. And he's hit the ground. No. Not a problem. Yeah. Then, right? Oh wait, you can heal people. I I think he's dead. I'm still far away. I don't know. Am I gonna get to him in time? <laughs> you don't uh, know. Take the what portal? Yeah. Oh, to where he landed? Yeah. 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 Let's sure. Take a look at this dead guy. Unbelievable. Uh, guns he, ready. He whips out the dread blade and cuts another hole in the world. Man, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. really cool. <laughs> a portal yeah. appears. I'm you step right. through it. There is a person-sized imprint on the ground, but no person in it. Oh. Aw, oh, shit. They okay, that's, that's not great. Or no, do they disappear when they die, or...? This is, this this, is bad. This could potentially I'm be... We'll look around for yeah. tracks. To this see how he for notice. crawled out of this hole. Uh, great. You're checking yeah. for tracks, you say? Yeah, I want to see... Like, Give me a survival roll. Do you have survival? I do. It's a D6. Ooh, let's get those two D6s then. Ta da! That's fancy. Hey! There's some tracks going off in that direction over there. Nice. Leading into some brush. I'm seeing as he I wants to kill me, how about you guys go first and I'll go last? I shoot at the bottom of the brush where legs would be. Give me a shooting test. It's a D12! It's a D10. It's a D10 and a D6. I was wishing really hard. <laughs> <laughs> With the power of will. Ah, I'm gonna be, uh... I'm gonna use a Benny for that. Benny. I don't think it's gonna hit anything, but I just Is don't want... Is it a store Benny or a personal Benny? I'm using a personal Benny. Uh -huh. Ooh, poisonal. Hey, that's better. That is better. Uh, let's see with the cover that they have. That will actually hit them. Ooh. There's a... You take a I shot. <laughs> You know, just a couple quick shots across the, uh, across the mouth. flush it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly. Who needs a dog? And there's like, and there's, and there's like smoke coming up from the bushes, and then it's like, it's dead silent. And you just hear this, fuck, shit. We can do this the easy way. A giant rifle barrel pokes out. <laughs> God, get him. Whoa, 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 whoa. What'd you say? God, get him. Go on. Ah, hey, you! Huh? Get, get, the rifle get barrel up. moves in your direction. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I mean, hey, why don't you put that down? We got guns. Settle down. 
What? Yeah. Well, I'm possessed by the devil, all right? Don't yeah. piss me off. We <laughs> I'm possessed by the devil. We're gonna deal some cards. <laughs> <laughs> this could have gone way different. Don't get me wrong. It does control one. Oh, ho, ho. What this means is that I get to go first. Oh no. Wait, I thought. Wait, wait. I thought James could have a card under a five. That's not true. That's uh, Vector Ransom. That's Vector Ransom. He doesn't have a card under a five. I know. Oh, so know? just all of last episode, you were just demanding new cards? I was yeah. spending Benny. Uh, you, could, you, you could spend the Benny if you want a higher card. I see. I thought it was just a king thing. But, uh, <laughs> the king. It's, a king. it's good to be the king. I don't mind having a low card. Mm. It's a king. As long as it's really low. Which is good. Because it is really low. And... Uh, you're gonna get shot at, guy. Oh, oh. that's fantastic. Right. It was really nice to know you. I blame Pierce. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, give me a D12 and a D6. You get hit. Uh, I need 2D8 plus 2D6 damage. What? Bye, guy. Oof. It was fun. <laughs> oh. Oh. Man. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Let's count that up, shall we? <coughs> 15, 21, 28, 39 Ooh. is what I get? Yeah, that's what I got, too. 39 damage. Soak it all. And you got uh, six toughness. <laughs> so, you know, 33 of that went through. So that's what? Uh, six wounds? <laughs> Six wounds. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a three wound cap. So, uh, oh, um, so guy is dead then. Uh, unless, unless he wants I to soak, soak it, which I don't okay. have a choice, right? I, I would really be yeah, dead. No, that, that, yeah, so definitely. You always have a choice. I'm not, <laughs> no, I can so just die. You don't have to spend that, Benny. Yeah. Yeah. But you so really, bad. really should. Yes. Yeah. Guy Whiteman and more guy diamond. You got for Vigor, guy. That's right. Die what is the Vigor score on Guy Whiteman? What was that? Eight. Oh, yeah, he's got an eight. So and can I use Benny's to soak yeah, that too? Yep, a Benny to okay. soak, and you probably want to roll that again by spending another Benny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, can I do that? Yeah, I'd definitely like do, do that. that. Just do that yeah, until you run out of Benny's. And, yeah, there you go. And they're not All right, dead. Better. All right. Uh, that, okay. That's not you want. You'll still take two wounds, but you won't be dead. That's true. You'll be in I'll bad shape. It. I'll take it. All right, you managed to soak one of the wounds. Right. He lives, but you just got, you just basically got shot in the, like, right in the side, right, like, like just side of your gut there, with the biggest, biggest goddamn gun you have ever seen. I said get him, not get shot by him. Uh, Come on, wow. guy. Wow. Now, that being said, Ooh. it is now your turn, guy, and you're really, really mad. <laughs> like, you haven't even had time to react to this. You are just so pissed. What color is the card you got dealt? It is black. That means Jean Rita is fully in charge. Oh, no. My stomach doesn't feel good. What is this? There is a hole in me! Who do I need to eviscerate? You see him Alan. right in front of you. Well, at least the barrel of a gun is sticking out of a bush. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use telekinesis, bring him right out of the bushes, and uh, dislocate his arm. Oh, yeah. That seems just, like a great just idea. Snap it right in half. Let's get a sign yeah. roll on it's a D12 and a D6. <laughs> you should re-roll that. That's dumb. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do Spend it. a Benny. Store Benny, personal Benny. And again. Uh, and again? And yeah. yeah. <laughs> now he's on to store Bennies no matter what. Yep. It's true. Spend a store, Benny. Spend You're rolling store, like Benny. ass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spend a store, Benny. Yell at Leo more. Yeah. 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 That's the one you want. Okay. Yep, if that's you your hit. Me, you'll get better. That's, <laughs> the, that's the hit with the rays. That's what you need. I'd also like to put a lot of pressure right on either side of the temple. Not enough to kill, but just crush that in a little bit. Just well, a little you get, bit. You gotta, oh. One of the things about telekinesis is you've got to really, you know, only grab what you can see. And what is visible to you immediately, other than this bush, is this gun. And you're like, well, if I grab the gun, it might just rip out of his hand. John Rennes is just going past all that. He just grabs the whole bush and just, just chucks it up in the air. And sure enough, there is an armored dude, like, hanging from his gun, which is flying in the air, twisting his arm out of socket. Uh, and he takes the three die six damage.
Why have you done this? Guy is weak. You will pay for this. <laughs> Why did you choose a weak host, though? Stupid magic. Fuck. Just, I did not have a chance. Come playing there for a second and then just like, kind of like looks up and is like, ah. click, <laughs> hits their belt, and they disappear. Oh. Boo. What sort of trickery is gun. this? What is this? The gun is right where it was, hanging from that bush. But the person inside seems to pop out of existence, and there's a little uh, flash of light and uh, a displacement of air and matter in a way that a, a giant, like a, a six-foot area of this bush in the middle is just missing now. Where is he so I might kill him? I it's a trans-dimensional teleportation. And it's less of a question of where and more of a question of when. Uh, well, hopefully not it's, it's a, half it's an a bit hour ago setting up to shoot us again. Uh, uh, now we he'd, he'd have to leave here. But it could be anywhere and just about any when elsewhere. You know, cameras are on prime, but that's... Never mind. That's, Find him and I will turn him inside out. Uh, let's do that. You look like you're doing a good job of that to yourself right there. Oh, yeah. The ground begins to shake in an even more heinous fashion. Uh, Terry, I, I gotta borrow your sword for a minute. Uh, let's let's make a deal, shall we? I don't want to die. Take the sword. No. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I will be, like, right back, dude. Like, right back. Oh, will you be right back? Do well, you even know how to open then. the door? Wait, do you? I think I do. The, the swords oh, click nice. together with the hilt, and then just do the same cutting thing that I... Gotcha. Yeah. Arr. I'll give it a shot. Click the swords together right at the hilt. Mm -hmm. And then spin it in a circular fashion. Yep, you spin it in a circular fashion, doing your best Darth Maul impression. And a circular... Good, huh? <laughs> a circular <laughs> portal appears above you with kind of wavy edges, as though it were the outline of a bag. Weird. So, out of the backpack we go. All right, then we, you, you go first. Uh, do you have a boost? It's about, yeah. Okay. Oh, for heaven's you know, yeah. sake, Maybe do not Maybe lock your fingers alone. together and have him step I up. Just, can I, like, lift him up and hold his foot while he climbs out? Yes, you can. That. I mean, I was only thinking about closing the bag behind me. I wasn't actually going to close it. Just, just thinking about it. fly up and be a babysitter. Don't take the swords! <laughs> all right, all right. You can you can hang on to them. I'm gonna be back for that, though. That's fine! Just don't take it out of here with you or... Then... We're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. I'll be back for season two. What? <laughs> oh, wait, I get it! <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> In his excitement, Terry, he's I'm gone sorry, back to his no evil guy voice. <laughs> So, what Pierce, have you done to my ship? Things have changed. Petra, can you heal God, John? You are, it, it currently has put you in the pod room. What's the end of my ship? Oh, okay, oh, they've I'm made sorry. some modifications. Mister, I can't be bothered to look after the people on my ship, much less my ship. Oh, I, I would have kept it if you guys really, you know, not been on my ship. When in doubt, I like to blame John Stone. So there were people still on the ship, obviously, uh, frantically, like, working in engineering and up in the cockpit, rewiring crap. Oh, okay, okay. Including, uh, including your old buddy, Crash Jackson. Oh, uh, hey, uh, hi, uh, Crash, buddy, pal. Uh, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> Fly! Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it, cockpit. Uh, you, give me a piloting roll. All right, that is going to be a d12 with a d6 wild die. Mm-hmm. I'm going to spend a store, Benny, and re-roll that. That's probably a good idea, otherwise, yeah. son. I'll spend another store, Benny, and re-roll <laughs> that. Right. Really? That's really? better. Using up a lot of those. Yep, you managed to uh, not... 
fly into the sun and reset a course that is more. What have you done to the thrusters? The it, control this. Everything is oh. so screwy. Oh, it's gonna take months to put this back together. Don't worry, you're here for the long haul. Why is my groin covered in brown fur? <laughs> <laughs> well, when a when a boy gets to be a certain age, um, I, did, he you might want to grab something that's gonna go real fast. Now that you know you're not, oh yeah, in the backpack, you're about to not have, yeah, um, close. Just gonna, which by the way, oh. suddenly you don't. <laughs> hey, oh, you know, uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh. there you are. Well, I'll, uh, go get dressed. Excuse me. I would also require pants. You shout from inside the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna Up run, run down and, like, grab a blanket off of something and then throw it down into the bag. No, you're not out of the bag. Oh, I thought you You're still in the I bag. Only yours. one who went out of the bag. I Oh, did you? Yes. Oh, well, that does change things quite oh, considerably. Yeah, like I was holding onto his foot and climbing out. No, no, you're not out either. Okay. Yeah, He's the no, only I one that made the I check to leave. Oh, okay. Make, uh, and babysit this yeah. school. Because we don't trust Pierce at all. No, for not reasons. Even a little bit. Right. Well, as long as you have the sword, you can get back out. That's why he had to leave it behind. Oh. It's currently sticking in the ground in two pieces, or in one as one giant piece. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Because he was nice enough to drop it down the hole when he climbed back up. Could have kept it. Just gonna point that out. You would have what? what? Could have kept it. Could have left you guys trapped there. Just pointing Rain. that out. There's oh. a pair of coveralls. That'll work. <laughs> Please fly us out of here. One of you. Oh yeah, no, I, I can absolutely tired do that. Of being here. Uh, now that I'm dressed, I give you a hand. Hold on. <laughs> before before everybody leaves, uh, Terry says. I mean, not not to be selfish sounding, but I mean, what about us? <laughs> I, I, I totally get it. I, I will be like right back. I got him steered. I'll set things up. I'll come right back in the bag. You Just... know, this place falls apart without a protagonist, right? Like immediately things go get real bad. Oh. Well, you could totally borrow Guy for like a couple of days. This would be acceptable. Same. Perfect. Substitution. No, I don't want to do that. Don't force it. It'll be I'm fun, guys. Going. Have a good time. I'm not going. It would be more productive if you did. Stop resisting me. I I don't want to do this. I don't want to go. Terry puts the sword in your hand. Oh, come on. Okay. There's a feeling of power that goes with that sword. Like, it feels super good. Major endorphin rush to start with. You feel like you can call lightning and do backflips and just be awesome. Your sword is so strong right now. Awkward question. Uh, Jean Ritter likes it too. Could this sword maybe kill the devil? Uh, weird question, right? I know. Yeah, it's a weird. As long as you don't mean stabbing yourself, yes. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Then uh, you have the power temporarily. I this sword will not defeat us; only make us more powerful. I'll, I'll be Stop. back for that. Stop. I, I will be back for that. Okay. You're just hanging on to it for a little while. Have, have fun taking it from me. I don't know why I feel more confident with this. All right. Uh, I guess, uh, guy. Any parameters you'd like to change? Um, as in parameters. What do you mean? Within the As world. Within the world. Oh, within this world. Oh. Um. Now you've already set the the. You've already kind of gotten the equality filters up on the right. genders, which is hey, I, it's more than I expected you to do, honestly. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put it back when when I come back. Oh, okay. no, I was about no, to no, say no. I can. Oh, you I are can... never touching this. <laughs> Mm. I mean, <clears throat> you shall never take the Tower of Dread. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guy. I'm really glad you're on board with this. Opening. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is gonna Before be the portal so... closes, can I like wave through the opening and say, "Lee, I'll be back for you one day." Uh, As yeah, uh, show, show. guy. As you're standing there with the sword, you hear this. Oh! from somebody outside your universe. You can always come back in. You could have said your goodbyes. You could have, but I was busy trying to make sure that Pierce 
wasn't an asshole all over the ship. Oh, too late. <laughs> it's his ship. Mm. It's it's my my so, like, he's a cat. His so, asshole who got out of the bag? <laughs> yeah. So both of you are out of the bag, yes. and you're out of the bag, leaving you in the bag. Um, I'm going to give him a... Uh, I'm oh, going to take right. a shot at you again, then. Oh, oh dang! I'm not, I'm not allowed... Oh, all right. Not allowed what? to up and out oh, here? Because the person disappeared, you thought the fight was over. Oh, I did. Oh. Yeah, no. No, they're going to kill your friend now. Oh, no! Friend? And then if he dies, then, like, then the whole world dies. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's a D12 and a D6. Oh, no. Oops. That our wild card character gets to fire once again at Guy, hitting him really without any problem at all, as though they were a professional sniper. Wow, you guys just don't think about consequences at all, do you? Um, He's got the sword. He'll be all right. Oh. Is that how that works? Not not Mm. really. Oh. (laughs) Is the sword helping at all with that, or is he completely right? In in what way? Uh, oh, well, bullet. let's see. Your, what? Let's do. I mean, we got to do damage because that's still a hit with a uh, with a raise. So that's going to be two d eight and two d six. That's more manageable. Yeah, it's only twelve this time. Yeah. Which, with your new toughness, is not a problem. Okay. Ting. Nice. All right. Oh. Did he miss? Or it did he glanced. Just, glanced. Oh, okay, glanced. Gotcha. As though it, it, it. Yeah, it like. Clipped your arm and it hurts, but it's like just a red mark across your arm, right. but with a bullet that's that big around. So it, oh, nice. yeah. okay. it looks like somebody you know took a hot candy bar. Just, you know, it's bad <laughs> news. Do we hear any of this? Yeah, absolutely. You see all that stuff going on. <laughs> no. Dang. Oh, yeah. I dive back in. All right, good man. Good man. <laughs> you are in the scene. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative oh, for the. My. Unless anybody else wants to jump back in. Fine. Fine. All right, we'll have an issue for everybody then. I guess. Deal some cards. Do, 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 do. Boom. Boop. Hey, all right. Oh, you got to get a new price. card for Vector Reigns. New card for Vector Reigns. Oh, okay, I got to sit up real tall to be taller than this card. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, bud. Oh, you're going first. It's good to be the kid. Um... So yeah, you dive out of the, you know, down yeah, into the thing. Barrel, you land. Guns akimbo. <laughs> guns akimbo. Um, is the guy in sight now? No, you didn't see where the yeah, shot came see from. Where the shot came from. Neither did I. Apparently, is that? Oh, sorry. No, hit you in the arm. Oh, okay. don't know where he's shooting from. Um, no okay. Can I look around and just think where the most strategic place to be a sniper would be? Like, oh, of course. With a, with a, that would give me a, would be like a battle round, a battle roll, which I don't have, but I'm willing to make. What about notice? You have a d6 um, in that. I do. You have can use a that. Notice. I also have an ability I just remembered. Quick draw is I can use my agility instead of notice for surprise. Is that count? No, I'm fine. You, with you know, just jump through the world again. Yeah, I guess I guess I could I could give that to you on a technicality today. I love technicalities. So go ahead and give me your agility roll, which is... A d10? A d10 with a d6. To see if he notices where the shot came from. Oh. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> it's over there somewhere. <laughs> I, uh... Alright, I don't see anything, but I've got guns out ready. Waiting for another shot. Indeed. Alright. Alright. So that brings it to Guy. <laughs> yes, I am uh, immediately <laughs> going to uh, cast a damage field on myself before I uh, lose my face. Cool. What element would you like to use? Um, bees. Bees. <laughs> 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 I, you know, I can't say I don't like that. All right. I actually, do kind. I I do kind of like that. All right. So uh, <clears throat> bees. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a swarm of bees. You are now, yeah. Let's, uh, like let's get your psionics roll. D twelve and a D six. Bees. Bees. <laughs> sure enough, that's a hit with a raise. So nice. you are now surrounded by a swarm of bees. Candy man. <laughs> covering everything but your eyes, so you can <sighs> see. Nice. You didn't need a loincloth this whole time. <laughs> you Turns out, so many no. Bees. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bees all over your tablet. Say my name <laughs> five <laughs> times. Wow. Is that how many times you say bees? Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so 
Uh, I'm also sending them out to whoever might be out there as well yeah. if I can. Again, you don't see anybody. Uh, that no. makes it my turn. Give me a d12 and a d6 for a shooting test. Oh. You're shooting at me. I'm going to spend a Benny. You're shooting and you're, that. You're going to spend a Doyle. I got to know. You I'm Doyle, I'm, yeah, you're getting Doyled again. Uh, however, we don't know which one of you I'm shooting yet. Here, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Oh, boy. Three, at four. Yeah. Shooting at me. <laughs> shooting at the little one. Well, I am such a small target. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to roll with disadvantage, I'm afraid. Mm, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> Damn it. You're thinking, of, games you're thinking of Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. It was worth it. <laughs> you tried. You did. I, I will you tried you using a different rule set, <laughs> which means automatic fail. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the way it goes. Um, and they are going to shoot at you with, that was a, what a was A 10 it? and a 1. A 10 and a 1 to the 10. Hey, what's your, uh, oh yeah, you don't have anything else fancy going on, so that hits you with a raise. That's 2d8 and 2d6. Oof. Dang. Yikes. Goodbye, world. Ouch. 17. 17. Yeah. yeah. What's your toughness? It's a 9. It's a 9, which is pretty high, but not high not enough high to enough. keep you from getting... That's blasted. Two wounds. It's two wounds. Don't want to soak it. I'm gonna soak it. <laughs> okay, so you spend another store, Benny. Is that right? Uh, I'm gonna send a, spend a personal. Spend Benny. Spend a personal, yeah. Benny. What you try and soak that? Your vigor Wait, is. What? Oh, my vigor is a six. A six. So it's a two d six. We're going to roll. Let's see if you can test out of that six. damage. Seven. We'll uh, soak one. We'll soak one of those wounds, so you will be wounded. Okay. Still take a wound. Ouch. I'll take a wound. That's okay. It's okay. Those things hurt, though. So, yeah, now you've been shot. Mm. Uh, give me a notice roll at no penalty, however. Oh, cool. Uh, that's six. 2d6. With that five, you can see where the shot came from, and you now have a visual on your target Yay. about 30 feet up yeah. in a tree. Yep. Oh, it's a tree. Oh, so it's now, a tree. because uh, Princess Hedgehog saw the target and basically went, Ah, that person shot me! Now you all know where they are. That's exactly how I saw this. Too. True. Now, how, sure. What did you do again? Can you do that one more time? Yeah. How, how'd, you, uh, how'd, you do, how'd you do that? I went, Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, he's over there! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, that almost sounded like it. That's, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Yep. That's good. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Which uh, makes it your turn, I believe. Yes. Oh, no, wait. I'm Diamonds go before clubs. So. Diamonds before clubs? So. Yeah. Mr. Rain's rifle, please. Five. Shooting test is. That's going to be a D8 and a D6. D8 and a D6. A five is actually not going what? to hit today. I'm going to spend a personal Benny and That's the way to do that right mm. there. I, I don't like five. A six <laughs> will, however, hit them. Oh. That'll work. What's that rifle do for damage? Uh, it's 4d6 plus one. That'll work. Maybe. Yeah. Whoa! You yeah, forget probability is on my side. 27 damage that this... Plus one. 20, 28 damage. <laughs> probability is always on my side. 28 damage. Uh, they are... Oh, boy. They're going to they're gonna try and soak it. What's your vigor? D8. Let's roll a D8 and a D6, please. That'll soak two wounds. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's enough to soak two wounds, and they do soak those two wounds. Dang. That brings us to Princess Hedgehog's turn. Oh, it's me. Mm-hmm. Uh, is anybody in mortal danger? I assume you are. I mean, there's Unless... a guy with a super sniper rifle taking pot shots at both of you. He's wounded and you're wounded. Right. He's more wounded than you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if, like, receiving the sword if he takes, ill. Yeah, if he, if he takes another damage, he'll be dead. Do I like him enough? 
<laughs> oh wow, that's a weird question to ask. No, no, when no, you're no, sitting right next to a person, yeah. maybe you well, don't. Well, it is, but it is also me. Um, Look, I don't like guys. There's Where did guy the new the guy, guy feel welcome? <laughs> there, there, well, there he is was guy about guy. to no longer be the new guy. He was about to be the guy we left in a pocket dimension. <laughs> Temporarily. So. I'm sorry, guy. You really shouldn't be privy to all of this. Fine, I'll heal him. I I'm shot. So give me a spellcasting roll. That's a 12. Minus one because you're wounded. Oh, right. Minus one because I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. That, that's, that's a good roll. Yeah, let's roll that wild die again. So that's an eight or a ten. Yeah, I think I'll take the ten. I that's guess. a great idea. You should do that. Yeah, that's two wounds. Yep. Yes. You've uh, healed, you've healed Guy Whiteman Completely. from his from his injuries. Thank you. He's good as new. With bees on my crotch. Hey, bees. that'll bring us to a new round. Just say, I'm not saying you owe me, Guy, but you owe me. Do, 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 I, I do. do, 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 do. I'll, I'll do. Oh gosh, I forgot the top of the round. Can I get two d six rolled, actually? All right. Oh, indeed. Holy Ooh. smokes, man! Okay, we need, let's get rid of all those high cards. We don't need oh, those. Wow. Yeah, those are for suckers. Holy crap! How? how do <laughs> like like that? Apparently. Oh. Just <laughs> like that. Incredible. Which means that we are starting this round. Well, being as I have, you know, this nice all round to do it in, I'm going to use this that this wonderful rifle that Vector Reigns has to take aim for my shot. Mm-hmm. Because all I'm, all I'm going to do is that one shot. You're just going to aim this round? Just going to aim. No, I'm going to shoot gonna, him. You're going to aim that one shot. I'm going to aim my one shot. Okay, and you're shooting at the... Wait, yes, of course. Uh, I think I'm going to shoot his gun. All right. That's going to be at the normal minus for a called shot. Yep. But I'll take my D8 and D6 chances. All right. Let's see it happen. D8 plus D6. Son of a bitch. What? I told you I control probability. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you told me that, but it's lies. It's just a game <laughs> in the real life. In which we're playing a character Jeez. that controls probability. <laughs> Well, the fact that they both came to nine, I think, is really impressive. Yep, yep, that'll, uh, I mean, that, that'll that hit him, not with a race, <laughs> but it'll hit him. My rifle. So, four die six? Plus one. Plus yep. one. Four die six plus one. Now, what's the AP on that weapon? Uh, zero. Zero. <laughs> you know? That's what I wanted to see. Ting! <laughs> right off their helmet, though. Isn't that a heavy weapon? No, there's the gun that I shot, remember. Just his gun. I didn't shoot him. Oh, right. So, yeah, no, that's not gonna, that, that gun is gonna be gone. You blew up the gun, the gun is gone. Disarmed. Disarmed. That gun is gonna go left behind. Mm. Hmm? Clearly had oh, another one. Uh, who's turn is it now? Have? Take a look, let's, uh... I believe the Vector Reigns is right after Vector Reigns goes. What are you doing, Vector Reigns? Made it easy for you. I'll shoot them legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a t-shirt. But you can shoot, shoot, shoot them, them legs. legs. On a shirt. I need one that says let's shoot get started. Shooting them legs. Shoot them legs. Shoot them legs. On the uh on the antagonist specifically? Yes. Not just these guys? Nah, not I mean. Just check it. There you go. So that's a D10 and a D6? Uh, D10 and D6, I'm going to shoot twice. So um, that'll be minus wait, two. Two, gun two gun key. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't even need that. So that'll be just re-roll that six. And because a marksman and sharpshooter, mm -hmm. he has no penalty on called shots. Yep. Son of a... You shoot him in the legs. Solid. Four. Uh, how, much, yeah. how much damage? 3D8. <laughs> 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 well, that's gonna that's hurt. One shot. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Fifteen damage. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> and again. And again. Oh, wait, do we gotta roll that? Hit. Yeah, you gotta roll yeah, the hit the second time. Roll the gotta roll the hit the second time. So a D10 and a D6. We roll that six. Lord. 
Then what? re-roll it again. That is a hit with a raise. Doesn't he get your guns as something special? They do have a special thing yes, when they, they get do. a raise. Oh my god. Um, they get plus 2d4. So it'll be 3d8 plus, plus 2d4. 2D4. <laughs> and uh, he's just not gonna have legs left. Possibly his leg gets atomized. Ooh. How possibly? Um, the inflicts a wound gets atomized. Yeah, if a target without MDC armor is wounded by the weapon. Victim determines injury. Well, he was shaken by the last shot, so that will do a wound on him, bringing him to three wounds and disintegrating one of his legs. Gross. He's not running everywhere else. Not yeah, no, he's he straight up. He run. straight up falls out the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's How see what he looks like under this mask. Old man Jenkins, <laughs> you run the haunted amusement park. <laughs> Hold on, round's not over, guys. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah. Whose turn is it? Well, I don't know because the cards are not visible. <laughs> We're getting there. I rely upon a monitor for that. Uh, that makes it Hedgehog's turn. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it is. My Weirdly, turn. with my King of Clubs, I go second to last. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> That's so good. Oh man, I really, honestly didn't think we were gonna get this far. All right, so they're on the ground. Presumably holding the stump of their leg, being like, "What the actual?" No, no, they're completely unconscious. Like their oh. leg, their legs off. Their legs off. The gun is out of their hand, and they are a smoking ruin at the bottom of a tree. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, is there anyone? Are down for the count. Yeah, two dead. Or... All right. He's uh, definitely missing a limb. I mean, I can choose to heal myself, or I can choose to heal that person, so we can ask them what's happening. Those are both options. <sighs> Why do I feel like the good thing would be to heal the person that Vector Reigns just disintegrated? I don't know why you feel that way. They were trying to kill you with a sniper no, rifle. I understand that, but I feel like we should do words if we want to know what their deal is. Make a choice. Myself. Heal so yourself. Need. Give me a d12 and a d6. Mm. Mm. I restrain him, by the way, not kill him. The d12 explodes. For a 15, you've healed yourself completely. You are well, you are what's known in the business as good to go. Well, I think everybody already knew that. Everyone did. That makes it my turn, right? No. Oh! Oh, yeah. All right. Give me a d6, actually. Let's, let's see that on the screen, see what we end up with. Oh. Oh, my. Wow. I couldn't have asked for anything better than that. There's a rustling in the brush. Oh no. Twelve velociraptors are surrounding you. Babies? Awesome. No, uh babe babies? They're not babies. No, they're they're full grown. No, no, and you made them smart. And you made them smart. And and, and they have you surrounded. And they can talk to and us. And they can talk. And they say, Hello, food. Whoa! We shouldn't have pushed the buttons. We were gonna be never friends. should have pushed the buttons. Oh, I had to turn those down. Have you considered we? going vegan? Oh, uh, it's their turn though. They're gonna attack. Oh no! Oh. They don't want to kill the dinosaur. Can I get? Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. So, three die six. Well, on Vector Reigns, none of them managed to hit you, nope. but they do begin. <laughs> I'm gonna ride you, Blue. Oh, hey, gang up bonuses. I plus forgot about those. Plus two, still not enough to get you. Three die six on Princess Hedgehog. Like a beast round? What is your parry? My parry's at five. Your parry is at five. One of them does hit you for 2d6 damage uh, with its horrible rending claws. Did I reach out and shake? You attempt to. <laughs> now your fingers are cut. Oh no! You just took eight damage. What's your toughness? It's a nine. You are fine. I <laughs> reach out and Little scratchy poo. Okay. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> yes. Three on you, bud. <clears throat> pow, pow, pow. What is your parry? Doesn't matter. They don't hit you. They suck it. Basically, <laughs> these are like the worst dinosaurs ever. Oh, they like, just didn't say to you. But your parry is what? Five, six. Uh, if it's five, they get you. 
Where is mine? It's right here in the middle. Oh, oh right here in the seven. No, you see, they don't even touch you. All right. And finally, two on the former king. Ooh. Uh, that'll hit me. One of them hits you for three, no, just for two dice. Hits. Not enough for a raise. Come on, exploding sixes. Rip this thumb, bitch. Oh, that's <laughs> enough for a wound. Ah, <laughs> oh, we yeah, that should only have shaken you, right? What's your toughness? Eight. Yeah, that's enough that's for a enough wound. for a wound. I'll take it. He can't. One hit. wound. This one comes and just slashes him across the belly. Ow. And now it's like making like it's gonna chew what comes out. It's bad news. Oh. Bad oh. news. These oh. things are hungry. Oh. Just prepackaged sausage over there. Mm -hmm. and, 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 yes. and that makes it oh, that's guy's nice. turn. Ouch. Guy's turn. Guy's oh, turn. Um, there are a dozen dinosaurs trying to eat your face. All right. I guess mm. I'm going to. Can I send the bees out, or does it basically it just forms a field around me? Yes. The, mm -hmm. the bees. I can't send the bees out necessarily. So here's the thing. The bees are stinging these things. Oh, they every are. time they come at you, the bees are hurting gotcha. them. Oh, okay, it gotcha. happens automatically on your turn. Yeah, all of them that attack. They are just anything damage. that's like within range of that thing is getting eaten, and they are all going to okay. take damage on your turn. That's okay. just the way it happens. It is your turn. They all take damage. Okay, all right. I'm just going to roll these here. Two of them are dead. <gasps> nice. All right. Uh, the rest yeah, killed by bees. <laughs> Should have brought an epipen. Right? That's right. <laughs> you, you've got a sword. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you've got a sword. Oh, that's right. It's pretty great. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use You're this really thing. Bad. I'm that gonna is, use it. Yeah. I'm going to uh, turn to him. What does it do? What can you I hit do with it? Give with me an it. idea. Just that. Hit things. Nothing with it. comes out of it. Trust me. All hit right. things with it. Okay. I'm gonna hit stuff. Okay. There is still one dinosaur on you. Okay. Hit very, very, very thing. A very, very pretty dinosaur with long eyelashes. Rawr! Swing at a couple of them. <laughs> Take a swing at a couple it. of them. Trust me, you've got this. All right, I'm doing it. You're swinging two, a couple of them? Yep. Okay, taking two swings with the sword. That's what I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Give me a fighting test. Um, fighting for you is going to be a... Uh, oh, right here. Uh, D10. Yeah, D10. Yeah, D10. And the, um, Using John Ritter's fighting skills. The, the Sword of Power has a plus two to hit bonus, so no multi-action penalty. All right, so the first swing yes. should have swung way wide and still connects, like, right at the underneath the arm of one of them. Just, oh. like, you were, like, way over here, and all of a sudden it goes, Wah! and sticks right <laughs> where you needed it to stick in the torso area of one of them for two dice six damage. Oh wait, no, it's uh, his strength die plus a D8. It's his strength die plus a D8, right. So it's a D... And his D strength die is a D10. D12 when using the sword. Oh, that's right. D12! Yes, please. Because sword plus is Plus a power. D8? Yes. You can uh, re-roll damage. All right, I can't see it. Yeah, you definitely want to re-roll damage. Definitely re-roll damage. All right. Let's see you your bennies on there. Uh, it's only one more damage, but it's, uh, it's enough. Because these are... Okay. <laughs> you just have to really get past their toughness and it... Okay. That is good. You cut one of them, you take a sec a shot at the second one, again, with your fighting die. Uh, D10, plus D6, yes. Mm. Huzzah, you uh, hopefully cut down another one, 2D6 damage. That's hot. D12. With a raise, oh, sorry, D12, D8, oh. D6. D12, D8, D6, because yes. you got the raise. That's enough to kill another one. So All two right. down on your turn, bud. All right. This sword is kind of <laughs> awesome. I told you. <laughs> this is just <laughs> new round. Pretty great, huh? Yes. My turn. You're gonna love it here. <laughs> Change my mind. I'll be the janitor. Joker, Woo! everybody, grab a Benny. Ooh. Benny grab. Yeah. 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 And welcome to your rule of cool. Oh. There are currently. Nine dinosaurs, eight, nine dinosaurs. One of them is just wounded. Eight dinosaurs. There are currently eight dinosaurs attempting to eat your faces. You have this round to get rid of them. What is the coolest thing you can do or way you can get rid of them? We are going to be starting today with James. All right, hear me out. Raptors, guys, <laughs> buddies, 
pals. So you've just got a couple of days, maybe a week, before uh, all the mollocks are suddenly smarter and more handsome and stronger and much harder to eat. And, you know, all the women folk, too. And you've got a new king. He kind of doesn't really have this act together yet. So you've got a golden opportunity right now to get some easy food. Not easy food, clearly. Dead raptors, dead raptors, more dead raptors. The pack can't sustain major losses. I'm just pointing out, Mullix, easy food for another week. Might want to stock up. It's your chance. You should go do that. So, your turn. You are convincing the <laughs> raptors. That's right. That the other males on this planet are easier food than you, and they should go eat them. Absolutely. Oh, All right. Wow. <laughs> That is an ethical gray area right there. It kind of is a little bit, yeah, not gonna yeah. lie. That's a little yeah. bit of a gray I failed area. ethics. That's <laughs> terrible. Uh, that means that Guy uh, goes next. Oh, so what is your, what is your, how are you getting rid of these things? What's your, what's your perfect world scenario in which you do the coolest thing? I'm going to- You've uh, got a magic sword and an alien symbiote. This shouldn't be tough. All right, um, I'm going to shish kebab. So, using telekinesis if I can, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick up as many as I can and just skewer them right oh, through the top. I'm just going to hold the sword out and just land them on top yeah. of there one by well, one? I'll put, it, I'll put it down on the ground so it's not ripping my arms out. So I'll just put it on the ground and wait and bring them right down on top. <laughs> not even so much fighting with the sword as just, okay. just spinning them around and shish kebab. It's solid tactic. Yeah. All right. That is a, a very solid idea. I was gonna do something really gross, but I just kind of, yeah. No, oh, that's that's not your gross thing. Oh no! Fast Vector oh, rays. Oh. Like, All right. Going finally to the table. I'm also gonna talk to the dinosaurs. You're also gonna talk to the dinosaurs. Talk. Listen, guys. <laughs> you're smart now, right? You're smart. That's cool. These people are smart. You can raise pigs. You can become a new agrarian society, mm -hmm. working hand in hand with the hot chicks and the little Moloch things. Like, it's a sentient <laughs> friendship relationship. They'll raise pigs. You can even be in charge. The king? Uh, I can't speak for him. But you guys can be friends. Start your own pyramid schemes? Economy? Eh? Think about it. You're <laughs> yeah. smart. You guys could open doors. Yeah. Just calm down. Maybe open up some, you know, small shops. Yeah. So you're also trying to talk them out of eating it by suggesting that they learn how to farm? Yes. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I yep. heard that right. Agrarians, agrarians, society. Eating is easier. <laughs> you guys. Fun. This will be great just because, like, if this doesn't work out for one or the other of you, it's just you two trying to talk over each other about why they shouldn't eat you. <laughs> and then we're just going to pack us. Like, oh, like the you. two alpha-ist of the alpha males present. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 guys, let's talk about, if you thought about farming? Think about your free like pigs. Pigs. Hey, easier food over there. They're both just like, please don't eat me. Yes. I like that. And uh, finally, Princess Hedgehog. We're going for broke, y'all. <laughs> Baby, um, why don't you? Why don't I? So since raptors just kind of look like drag queens anyway, what with the feathers and the shiny scales and the glittery big smile. So the raptors in your mind have feathers. Well, yeah. Obviously. Like all dinosaurs. Like yeah. all dinosaurs. Yeah. Duh. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to- Deducting gonna... three votes from that, by the way. Feathered dinosaurs. Um, I'm gonna go through and be like, beast friend, beast friend, beast friend, lady, and we are gonna have ourselves a Celine Dion tribute concert full with background dancers. Share. Uh, I'm gonna have to nix uh, both Share and Celine Dion as they are real people with real songs that we can't possibly sing on the air right now. Well, if you could turn back time. Maybe. If you can find a way. <laughs> Maybe you'd take back those words that hurt me. Mm -hmm. But don't so worry, no I'm shit. sure your heart will go on. Yeah. Oh, fine. You need far wherever you are. Yeah, like the, you, the, the, the something vape that those guys. What was that? <laughs> so it was human speech, but mm -hmm. we're not. Yeah, no, no, quite, but was it? Not quite. <laughs> I, uh, it's going to be a wonderful rendition of that song that I'm absolutely not going to remember. Awesome. Cool. Okay, <laughs> polls open, everybody. Uh, at home, all you got to do is uh, vote on this one in the chat room. <laughs> that is a, uh, you know, vote. And then whatever number you like, we're going to go in there and we're going to figure out 
Which one of you wins? <laughs> I'm guessing it's Celine Dino. I see how it is. Yeah, like I, I thought I had a good plan. Right. Like, and then Lady you came ought in. to have been a Lady Gaga tribute. Oh, it could have yeah. easily been a Styx tribute. It could have been a <laughs> You guys like John Denver? <laughs> but now I've got to suck magic. Like, rah, I'm just surprised rah, you don't have a dinosaur <laughs> junior trip, right? Rah, 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 and you even have an ultralight <laughs> aircraft to crash into the ocean if you want to. All right, vote now, folks. <laughs> vote, vote, Let's vote. figure out. Do, do we even need to continue? They all say four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Raptor shish kebab. Raptor shish kebab. Oh man, if you if you sweep the votes today, Helen, you win nothing. Oh, I'll give you two points. <laughs> I I will. You just I will don't bring, believe in this. Yeah, we can in cause this without the death of more dinosaurs. Everybody do the dinosaurs. No, 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 no. All right, what will happen to our heroes? Will That's they win question. this, or will the bad guys suddenly oh, get to do something cool in this round? <laughs> the bad guys all of a sudden. Discover MLMs. We're all stuck here learning about Dino Skin Cream. Dino Skin Cream. <laughs> trying to convince us to pedal it, but there's no dinosaurs where we're from. The market's gone. It's dead. Yeah, like, it's a dead yeah. market, you're right. <laughs> Used to be really popular. Yeah. Something <laughs> fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just saying, uh, Mark brings up an excellent. An excellent point that the only time anyone ever won a, a, a rule of cool by talking was when Maggie did the Loki talk show. Oh, dang, I yeah. I think that's literally the only time that that's ever happened. Um, We're just like, well, talking will fix this. I don't do heroics. <laughs> I, I don't do heroics. Oh, no, it was completely in character for you to do that. Don't get me. Vector Reigns, not so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to talk to. more. <laughs> Hey, and Maggie like, told me to talk more. <laughs> <laughs> like, we like hearing better. what you have to say. I just want an agrarian society with dinosaurs running hey, clouds. Who doesn't? That's basically what we had before. <laughs> it's an eight zero zero, zero one. one. It's a chicken drag show. <laughs> I'm shocked. And oh, good. Somebody. It wasn't. It wasn't a complete shutout. Somebody did go for the chicken rotisserie. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Because that was a good way to go, <laughs> and a very cool idea. Uh, but yeah, no, the dance party 100% wins. Mm. Oh. So first, let's get those cards back up there and see where we are going in the round. Me. Ugh. Oh, I know it's you first. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's me first. Yeah, it is. But hey, but, uh, easy. bad guys get a turn also if they live through this first part of the round. <laughs> It's true. It's true. They were going to do something cool too, but when I get to put it in the poll, we'll see. All right. Was it Losers go first. So, uh, persuasion? Yep. And a minus two. It's the only thing you tried to do. Yep. And I'll take that D10 and that D6. A conversational war. Here's the thing this does not seem like the worst idea to them. <laughs> It's a pretty good idea, honestly. I mean, Moloch's easy picking. Moloch's are them. easy picking. They're predators. They don't want to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Obviously getting killed. It's the smart move. He not makes wrong. a good point. Which, of course, uh, brings us to Vector Reigns. <laughs> also a persuasion. Also a persuasion. What's your persuasion? Uh, I have a D6. A D6! This is less likely. But I'm going to re-roll that because I'm charismatic. Why not? Yeah, ch charismatically re-roll that five. Second best thing you could have got. <laughs> I was hoping for a six. I want it exploded out. I wanted it exploded out too, but it did not happen. Uh, however, you have they're to like, believe oh. in your lies to sell them. They're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Farming also sounds Dino good, but easy. Moloch sounds really, really, really good. What about farm the Moloch? Uh, <laughs> and so the dinosaurs. give me three telekinesis rolls. Which will be a psionics D12. Okay. Uh, with a D6, there'll be three of those rolls. Any of my babies survive. Okay, okay, it's so good. Gotta teach them. Well, two of those wild dice, Ace. So yeah. Maybe they have a chance. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, oh, no. The second time. Oh. A third time. Well, that one works. I mean, 
the other set of those multi-action are real cool penalties, so that, that doesn't pan out. But one of those works. Well, one of them works well enough. Really uh, well. One of like if we go with just his slightly lower roll, he's yeah, he's gonna be in he's gonna be in one of them. Which one was it though? It was the first one. Mm-hmm. So you telekinetically, like you stick your sword in the ground, you telekinetically lift all these dinosaurs up in the air, but you can't quite bring them down just yet. Like they're just kind of hovering and you're trying to kind of juggle them in your mind. But there they are just floating there. When all of a sudden, would you care to explain how this goes? Absolutely. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, so I, I whistle, which I can't whistle, so I'm not going to demonstrate. Uh, I whistle, and Lady comes down and is like, This is the moment we've all been practicing for! Ladies in formation! Uh, and, and I, I suppose even as they are floating around... Right, they immediately start moving in syncopation with in each other. In syncopation, like... <laughs> like, it, it's like, it's like the scene from Beetlejuice where everybody's dancing in the air at the end of the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah then, exactly. Then, 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 I thought they were just gonna like wing it. That. It's like a Cirque du Soleil, yep. like, floating orb situation. Mixed with a Harry Belafonte song. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I thought they were just gonna wing it. And do you hear those scales? Just, oh, yeah. I may have to penalize you for puns. Wow. That's why he doesn't do two shows anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, man. Uh, anyway, so lady, lady is lady is obviously uh, uh, our lead singer here, and in, we've got all the dancing, and they're like hitting out every so often. Okay. Like, dinosaur. So like while you're trying to like focus dinosaur. on these things coming down, you're trying to both talk dinosaur. things into them. All right. The like the first thing you notice is that the dinosaurs you're talking to are now floating in the air. Start like dancing with each other, and then the pterodactyl, the pink one, the big one that's from your Airy, uh, comes flying in and also starts dancing, like hovering in the air, and starts singing. I'm not doing this. You realize that the, the process, as uh, Terry told you, takes time. Like <laughs> they can say things like lunch and mmm, yummy. But it's gonna be a couple of weeks before this pterodactyl can manage full human speech. Make it stop singing. Yeah, make it stop. So it continues. This one's when we grab the dead guy and get out of the backpack. Let's go. And that's when you grab the dead guy and get out of the backpack. Except for you. Hey, enjoy oh. your new kingdom. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We'll Are see you in a couple guy? of weeks, man! No, no, wait, wait, wait! So, Guy, there you are, surrounded by floating, dancing dinosaurs and the prettiest pterodactyl you ever saw. As soon as the portal above you closes, they fall to the ground, slowly enough, and all of the dinosaurs and the pterodactyl and, and, and lady, who you know her name at this point, right. all lower their heads to you. Would you oh. like to go home, Majesty? Well, uh. Very much. Yes. 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 Hop on the back of the pterodactyl and fly off back towards the village. Meanwhile, <laughs> on the Reliance... <sighs> oh, oh. Is he fully dead? That's so there your bodies are on the Reliance. The first thing you think of is... The sun? No. The sun's been taken care of. Oh, yeah, that's true. Didn't we enter through the pods? Oh. Huh. Didn't even think about that. <laughs> you look in the pots? I do now. Are there going to be I don't. two of me? There are not going to be two of you. In fact, uh, when you look in the pod, there is your uh, little Wonder Boy avatar <gasps> in your place. Along with another pod with an unconscious terrier in it. <laughs> and another pod with a neon knight. Uh, that's a law violation for the record. I'm just putting that out. You're gonna want to get those home. Criminals. ASAP. You're all criminals. I blame Pierce. And I uh, also while they're Pierce. distracted, I'm taking the guy's belt off <laughs> and I'm stashing it. Give me a thievery roll real quick. To... <laughs> That's gonna be a D10 plus one. Yeah, I figured as much. Give me a D10 and a D6 plus one. Let me, let me borrow this. Well, look at that. All is well with the world. <laughs> Join us next week for uh, the season finale, right? No, no, we had just a bit more? temporary break after yeah. this. We have a short break for Gen Con. We are taking a short week. break for Gen Con, so join us next week, same time, for The Reliables. 
Let's say uh, one more big thank you to Owen for being here for the last three episodes. Oh, thanks. He'll be back. Now that, you, now, that, now that we've got you on the ship forever, oh, we'll yeah. be bringing you back at a later you're date. You're in a bag. Yeah, no, you're in a bag. <laughs> What's in the bag? We're just, I'm in a bag. So it yeah, Owen, along. Owen Severance, thank you so much for being here. Thank uh, you, guys. We all really enjoyed it, and uh, we look forward to having you back next season. I hope to come back. Fun time. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it it was very, very fun times. Yeah, that, that was it for my run, so I get to go back to being just a lowly alien shapeshifter next week. So thank you for sticking it out with me the last three weeks. I know I'm not quite as uh, practiced at this as James. So. You're, you're, not as ex you're not excited about John Stonamox? Are you kidding? I am super excited about John <laughs> Stonamox. I've been calling him since episode one. Let's John have Stonamox. Buddy cops. Got a so we'll see you all next week on The Reliables. Catch you next time. Love you dearly. Now get the hell out of my house. Goodbye. Goodbye.